And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, in the afternoon for another long-ass stream, because Jordi is addicted to this game. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday. And until the next one. Yaddy, yaddy. Oh, yeah, I was kind of running out on balls, wasn't I? And I think I used pretty much all my cash on other shit. Didn't I? Yep. Can I at least make some... Uh, yeah, I was running out on shit. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Crafting materials. I'm just gonna buy a few of these. 41. Make some more Ultra Balls. And that'll be it. Whew. Okay, let's at least start this chat with the main quest, and then we are going to do most, uh, some of the other quests. Hello, Jordy. This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Snessler. Snessler? He will guide you to her domain. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that erupt how do you do before. I'm Warden Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard! It goes a bit... It goes a bit like you, you know? Like me? He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you will help fill some of the gaps in his memory. Mm -hmm. In any case, I'm glad to have you help. Uh, your help to count on once again, Jordi. Good luck up in the Highlands. Well, that is exactly not what we're gonna do. Because <laughs> I have quite a lot of side requests to do and there are just two areas where we get to do these and I think we're just gonna go with that elegant tail is later on most likely the wirelands though that's the Marylands are some things that we definitely need to go to Mount Coronet. We're first going to go to the Myerlands. Because <clears throat> we got some Pokemon to capture. And some other things. Okay. Nothing blue. Oh, we can also just cross these waters, which is pretty chill. I should probably try and grab as much resource as I can, though. Got a lot of things to grab after all. There's a new request here. We got some people to find. We can actually go over... Ooh, Pikachu! Pfft. I 
didn't actually think we would just run into a random Pikachu here. Investigate. Oh, right, you. I didn't know I could get up here. That Raichu is an Ulfa. Wait, are you doing 24 hours? No. <laughs> I'm not doing 24 hours, Sep. <laughs> I need a bit more planning to be able to just do 24 hour stream. It's a new start. Yeah, we just started. Fuck you, Paris. How are you doing today, dude? Okay, uh, I need to use you. for right you call nice now there is supposed to be something to dig up around here thunderstone Let's see, I fucked up my props. Major setback. F's. Big F's, mate. Right, you Ash. Catch him. <laughs> I think I can do that. We ended up naming Machamp Princess as well, so. are best admitted. I uh, will admit no such thing. <laughs> oh, Geodude leaped out of it. 
That wasn't necessarily part of the idea. <laughs> My names are the best, period. Sure, sure, dude. Whatever you say. <laughs> Nah, okay, your names are pretty good. I can't complain about them. Chance because I won't allow that. <laughs> dirty, dirty cheater. being like, but it's 5 a.m. No, it's not. Satchel. Ooh, a Alpha Tangela. Medicinal herbs. Scarlet Bulb. Hippos. Yo, what is wrong with my camera the entire time? Stop targeting. Fucking Graveler. Yuri Yuri does a Well it actually survived. Impressive. Wow, that's a lot of enemies uh, right here, buddies. Traveler uses bulldoze. Rock slides. You do this looking around. Let me send in the city. I fucking destroy these asses. South Rock, not very effective. Leaf Blade.
Whew. Iron defense. Eh. Uh -huh. Damn, son. These Pokemon are so aggressive in this place. In this bog. These bogs, I should actually say. Okay, we got a Krogunk. Candy Truffle. Yeah, yeah, Geo dudes, we're leaving. I don't care about the Geo dudes. <laughs> Fucking hell, these guys are so aggressive. Here I am, just minding my own goddamn business. Trying to loot. Diamond member. Here they go, just throwing all their shite at me. gonna search for regular treasure anymore. Say you there, could you lend me a hand? I was on my way here from Maryland's camp when Alpha Hippowdon came after me. It got away, but I dropped the charm I was carrying. Now I can't find it anywhere. I've just got to have it back. If you find any charm lying in the swamp, could you bring it back to me? Yeah, I think I can probably guess where... What is it about Pseudo Udo? For you, kiddo, let's go. Let's get down to business. Have a look at that Pseudo Udo. It was looking pretty listless, so I gave it a whole feast of berries. Even though it gobbled them up, it still seems like it has no energy at all. Isn't that odd? So then I figured it must be parched, after all, like a plant, right? And it must need to be watered. So if we could just fire off a healthy water pulse at it, I'm sure it perks up in no time. Actually... What? You don't read? But plants love water. It's not a plant. Bring me a Pokemon that can use Water Pulse so we can get... I do have Gyarados with me, right? Jeez, I already have a lot of items picked up. Let me see. Does Gyarados learn Water Pulse? Oh, it already has water poles. Yep. It's not going to be happy with it. Oh, this Gumi has water poles as well. Here, let's give the Gumi. All your worries are about to be washed away. Guess we're doing this. Because Pseudo Wudo is not a plant, it's a water type. No, no! 
<laughs> Catch it or kill it. Let's kill it. All right, Kerr. Pseudo Wudo, use Rock Glide. Ooh, maybe it doesn't like getting wet. Do do. Is that it? Gosh, I guess I rained on my your parade. Sorry, Pseudo Wudo. Susu. And I'm sorry for making you part of this too. I thought I was helping, but when you get right down to it, I just didn't understand, Sudowudo. Keep working hard on the Pokedex to educate poor fools like me, would you? Heavy balls. Yeah, I'll be sure to educate you, poor fools. Betcha berries. Another wisp. Rosalia. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Kill the Badoo. <laughs> I haven't even killed a single Badoo yet. So funny. Let's see. Blue? No blue. Young my young mega. Hook bees. Dig up for treasure. I'll mid balls. Um, F your team. Go see if I can get to the third wig without scaring it away this time.
Cocoa berries. At least the third wick is there. Got too much trash chasing my ass. Third wick over there. No, I hope that it just goes in. Nice. Bill out of here. Uh, we're on Ursa Ring right now. Nope. Stones. Another stupid Burmy. Burmy Wormy. Large mount. I see the charm. Where are we getting attacked by? Another hippo dome. It's just a regular one, right? Go Luxorain. Wonder if that is a smart idea. Nope. I uh, just used bite. Uh, and use high horsepower. Bye bye, Luxorain. <laughs> Yeesh. Bite, water poles.
Should go and heal my team in a bit as well. You sure or something taking on a big angry hippo don't like that. Wait, what's that lion over there? My charm, it's really you, welcome back. It means a lot to me that you went toe-toe -to with that Hippowdown on my behalf. You better believe I won't be losing this charm again, not after you went through all the trouble to get back from me. You're welcome. I'm still not really any closer to finding that girl we're looking for. In the... That guy's sister or whatever. Take a little rest. Okay, let me have a look around this area. Should be a statue hiding somewhere around here. Here. What are you doing here? You don't appear to be frightened to see me. Daring to approach me rather than turn tail and run. You've got courage, I'll give you that. Now you face the eldest of the misfortunes. This unlucky charm will ensure your fall in battle. Charm? Right on. This do I. Triple arrow, strong style. Oh, it actually survived. Rip. I horsepower not very effective. Leaf blade. Deduce used hex again. Wow, Gengar is fucking fast. Did crit it, didn't even kill. Hypnosis avoided. Easy enough. Battle decided. What a disgrace. Grow bad level up. Ah, quite formidable, aren't you? This was only a test. Now I know more about how to more about how you fight, and I won't hold back next time. 
Nice ninja flex there. Dropped something when she fled. Three bags of stardust. Interesting. Oh yeah, I was gonna go to the home trails. See if I can catch that Slickma. Not Slickma. Whatever it was called. Plus it's a spot I haven't explored yet, so I can see if I... If the girl is around here somewhere. The answer to that seems pretty nope. Okay, wait, that's an alpha pitalil, I want that. that goes in instantly. Bingo. See, I would just like to see that instantly doing what I wanted to do. There's the Alpha Torterra and an Alpha Crow gun. Well, that must be a random one. I really feel like attempting that one, honestly. But I probably should. For sake of Pokedex completion at least. Fuckers are so, oh so freaking aggressive. Okay, I hope it just goes in. Nice.
It just wants you to catch alpha specimens so badly as well. <sighs> Especially seems some of them are just pure random encounters. Grains, medicinal leak. Found it. Iron chunks. Not exactly top tier, but sure. Was I gonna do again? It had something to do with the Sligoo, right? The Alpha Sligoon. Apparently, I first need to make some space here. <laughs> Fucking goomies. Goomy is keeping its guard up. Acid spray. Very good, Jordi. Stand right in the middle of the attack. Okay, Boomy's out. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> Yeesh. Uh, there was something else that I need to do. Let me first grab this. Just following me around like it's nobody's fucking business. Was it because I was attacking the Goomies? Oh, fuck. Wonder if that counted as a cat. Oh, nope. I 
Crystal Spray also wore off. Fs. This is very annoying. Kind of running out of things like Stealth Spray and the like. are back. Ah, got it. No bill. <laughs> <laughs> before I get knocked out. Phew. Um... This one requests Sea Legend, Fancy Warmadon, even more wares. Misdreavus, don't know where to get that. Pombi of Apom Hill. Package Pipla, Octillery, come up with roses. You still need to do that one. Double fins in different area, nighttime photo, elegant tail, nope. Gone astray. Just a little while. I need more bugs, warts. 100%. At least we're slowly stacking up on uh, Pokeball crafting materials. I can technically just buy these from him. Not that it's... that's that... That that is very good. You have a look. Can I now see the blue? No. Should throw someone else if I go at a wiggly uh, thing. I should kill the Geo dudes because they apparently drop. Pretty nice stuff. Let's use Cleavor for the time being. I haven't used Cleavor at all since I got him. Then again, I got him last night. Psycho Cut. There's also still a quest that I need to deliver at uh, location here.
Alpha Hippodon. Just gonna kill it for experience points. A Hippopotas, I mean. Do a sword stance. See if it doesn't actually insta kill me. Strong style. Iron tail. <laughs> I think it and it does it. It's so unbelievable sometimes. Strong style. Water pulse. Hit it with a Hydro Pump! Poor Geodude's getting blasted with a Hydro Pump like that. had one tumble stone. Probably because it didn't come out of an ore vein or something. Ooh, is that an alpha right horn? I haven't seen an alpha right dome or right barrier yet, so I think I'm just gonna catch that. Okay. Sit. Probably kill the Graveler there first. Oh no, I remember that there's a Alpha Rhyhorn somewhere else as well. Eh. It's done is done, right? Finding a random one is quite a rare tweet tweet treat. It's between 0 0.2 and 2% chance that you see an ultra of a species. I don't think I should really complain. Number defeated. The toga tick in the air there. Gyarados uses Water Pulse. It's kind of a waste that I haven't been actually catching them. Or defeating them. up the hill where the alpha onyx is at dig iron chunks 
Nice dodge. <laughs> Still no clue where the girl is. See if this helps. Wow! Wow! Well, the side look all better already. What a relief! Thanks for finding this medicine for us. You know, I was a little nervous about the Galaxy team before, but if you're the sort of folk are kind enough to help total strangers, I guess I had no reason to worry. What did you call that stuff again? Secret medicine? Which the Galaxy team must be very talented. Visit you on Jubilife sometimes. Max revive. Nice. Heron. Still not seeing any blue reactions at this point, which is very annoying. There she there's the official spawn of him. I might need to grab a combi from over here, actually. At some point. Might as well catch it. Listen, are you gonna keep on annoying me or do I need to kill you? I guess the answer is you need to die. Con van! Okay. Let's go and uh, capture some pseudo Udo. Paris, fuck up. Fuck off, you. Stupid assholes. Oh, look. A hey, old fuck on me. Not really in the mood to try hard on the Alpha Combi, to be honest. It's not a male, anyways. <laughs> it's not a female, anyways. I mean, nice. <sighs> These pairs really need to stop pissing me off. <laughs>
Everyone is so aggressive. Boo hoo. Licky licky. Leaf. Where is it forming? All the way down there. Gotta ditch my shit in a bit and then go all the way up there. Okay. Gonna be catching a Bunch of Rolts and Kirila. Absolutely atrocious, my aim. At least if we run into Kirilas around here. Because I think a Kirila is our rare spawn. Arm chunk. There's no real reason for me to actually fight these guys though. Because they'll just run away instantly. Uh, it popped out. That's annoying. Sword caps. Don't necessarily have to catch you guys, but I will, because I can. Instantly respawns. Look, there's a Kirla that I was looking for. Another one over there. At least I hit it. <laughs> This time around. So annoying when they've already spotted you. <laughs> Throw. Caught without being spotted. Please go in. Thanks. Small specimens caught. Okay, I'm moving. 
towards the thing. Because the resources are always good. Um, alpha by barrel. Was that a bar boach? That is bar boach. Um, let's throw an ultra ball at it. See how uh, well that works. Catch, instant, nice. You caught a barboach. I haven't actually traversed much of the waters in this area. I don't think I care shit about by barrel, do I? I do need to catch a few more alphas. By barrel. Sword stands. Depends the stat raised. I don't know what he's gonna use. I think I'm just gonna fuck him up. Leaf blade. And there's a way lower level one that's insta spawn that I can catch. Yeah, Mega's here as well. It hasn't fully materialized yet. So it was kind of too soon, I guess. I will catch this young mega at some point. I'm just very low on resources. Which is kind of frustrating. Wonder if I can make something fun spawn as well. Once the thing happens. You strayed too far away from the battle. Huh, weird. Come on, game. Usually you're a lot quicker with appearing and disappearing. Probably catch another third wig. Yeah. Oh, the space time distortion is there now. Okay, thanks. Got the third wig. Caught two without being spooled. It's winter and I'm freezing. Don't have the tech to make clothes. Wait, what? It's winter and I'm freezing. I don't have the tech to make clothes. UK sap? Oh, I forgot to stash my shit. That is absolutely horrendous. Fuck, I gotta make a quick stop. Such an idiot. Playing a video game, lol. Oh. <laughs> and here I'm like, what the fuck are you on about, mate? You don't need to make clothes, you can just buy clothes. <laughs> Your sep is like, oh, that's not what I meant, bruh. Okay. 
Let's book it to the space time shite area. Nope. Drift limb. Garbage. Pokemon. That they can find everywhere. Electrizer. Is that a Lucario? Oh no. It's just Lucio. Flareon though. That will fight. I need to make kills on Flareon anyways. Stone Axe. Okay, that's one. Lucio use Crunch. Double hit. Make scissor. Float soul misses the hydro pump crunch. Well, Cleaver almost getting killed here. Snorlax behind me as well. Jesus. Let's catch both because I can. Go in. Thanks. A Cleaver is gonna get cocked here by the Snorlax most likely. Yeah, high horsepower. The deuce. I'll swipe. Holy shit, that has no effect whatsoever. Hope that it doesn't insta kill my Luxorain. I hope the weather is as nice as it is today, tomorrow. I should not have said that actually now that I think about it, because now it's not going to be nice weather tomorrow. I just gotta hope it goes into the ball. Nice. Caught a random Snorlax. Let's see if it's nobody's bloody business. Embryon. Don't necessarily have to catch the Umbreon water poles. That sucks. I think I'm just gonna kill this Umbreon. No, I forgot that this guy has a high stats on mind. Sending Crobat. Air Slash. Oh, it survives that. Fs. More Fs. Water Pulse.
double hit. Up to the hard hitting stance, cross poison. Critical hit. Another double hit? Why would you do it again? Crobat being lucky. I think that by this point I should be able to tell the different what are they called again? Fries, right? Protector, nice. Air cross. Come on. Grab the green shards. See any other items nearby? Star piece. That's an alpha. I don't want to fuck with that with the team like this. Come on, get. Thanks. No! Welp. It was worth it. Was it really worth it though, Yordi? Really? I'd say it was a. Uh, Blazing success. We got a bunch of shards, protector shits. We got uh, a new Pokemon. We can make a decent amount of uh, only one, apparently. Never mind. Still haven't found the freaking girl that I'm looking for. Ooh. Wish cash. Oh, that's not the good idea what I just did. Ooh, it's a high level wish cash as well. I think I'm sending in weird ear here. Wish Cash is just gonna fucking uh, thunderbolt my uh, Gyarados. Psy Shield Bash. Use Rest. Okay. Let's see if it will just go. Peacefully into a ball, then. Doubt it. Aqua Tail. 
Wow, Rust is OP in this game. Let's see if I can survive another attack with Weird Ear. It might just uh, sleep through it. Use Rust again. Wish Cash is at full HP. Psy Bash. It's a uh, electric type as well, so I don't think I can Aqua Till. Actually, um, paralyze it. Okay, we got it. Curious. Another wish cash. It's to be expected that I find wish cash here, actually. Seeing as uh, bar boaches are down the river. Is that, is that a random alpha? Don't know. Well, guess we won't find out. If it's a random, all I can do is pray that I, like, get it, but I don't have the resource for that right now. Big ass graveler. So, Sep, are you playing that new game that you bought yesterday? <sighs> yeah, are you having fun with it? Is the fun game? Let me have a look. It's further down. I think this is where the... Queen Bee was. Yeah. Okay, nice. Hell yeah. Good. Glad. How was my bag? Currently. Enough space. Okay, I think I do need to try and capture that carnivine there. My last stealth potion. Yeah, got him. Alpha Carnivine.
wonder if I can go into the waterfall. Nope, can't go into the waterfall. <laughs> Always gotta try. Can we go into the waterfall? I don't have any fetter balls with me, fly balls, whatever they're called. Fuck you, Geodudes, you're not in a vein, so I'm not gonna bother with your ass. Okay, if this doesn't bring me any progress... Galaxy member... Then there's only one place left to look. Hmm. Won't sleep. Did I finally fucking find her? Taiko? No. Are you going gathering here materials too? I guess the survey corps must do an awful lot of crafting. Just like we Spry Corps members do. Gosh, when I think of it like that, I feel a new sort of kinship towards the survey corps people. I have a recipe for Old Gato. Yeah. Did not anticipate that. Big candy truffles. How oh, nice. That was not what I wanted to do. Another Burmese. Kill it with Hurricane! Thunderstone. Thunder, thunder, thunder. It's kind of frustrating that I can't find that girl that I'm looking for. But we have been everywhere now, except for one area. Which is this part. Hmm. 
move the storage. Organize satchel. Organize that. Home a chart. Thank growth. Ow. Listen here, you dickwad. I'm not here to fight you. I'm just looking around. Hoping to find... Ah. Yeah. Hey, hey, she's on this platform somewhere. Unbelievable. I hate that these Toxicroaks are so incredibly aggressive. Another Burmy. God damn it. You don't even give me good loot. Again, go away, Toxicroak. Well, here is our lady in despair, Wanda. Hey, Sush, a person, not a real life human being. Oh, thank goodness. I was on my way back to the base camp when I got attacked by some wild Pokemon. I managed to get away from them, but I got completely lost when I was running and... Please, can you tell me how to get back home? That way, I see. Thank you very much. Um... Uh, I mean, this way. Right, right. Of course. I knew you meant this direction. Oh god, she is not gonna find her way back home, is she? At least I'm glad that we found her. I'm not supposed to be able to climb up this ledge. How are you today, Sush? Did you beat the main story yet? Ah, 
Well, at least I'm pretty sure that I've done everything now. I have not. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Just barely got the fourth right Pokemon. Wow, really? That means that you're not that far ahead of me, even. Don't get me wrong, I'm kind of glad to hear that. <laughs> 33 Pokemon caught, yes. Yay, money! Yay, money! We caught a Pikachu. And Raichu Alpha. We caught our Scissor and our Cleavor. Got more Eevees. Stupid Burmies. Ralts is done. Kirila is closing in. Return to the village, please. Got all those stupid quests. Or at least a lot of the stupid quests done. Uh, I'd like to... You know... Order around a little bit. There. Giant Toxicroak. Dirtwig. I need to keep a... Oh wait, I can give this Scyther to the guy in that one field over there. Our Sligoon. I just wish I could make something to transport stuff. Oh yeah, I also got a giant Petalil from somewhere. Random Sylveon. Snorlax, another Eevee. I learned something new today, by the way. There are... Um, mints. The game has uh, mints. So you can change... Pokemon their natures if you want to. Yeah, but you you can grow them. Yeah, and that's what that's what I meant. You can grow them. Great timing. What did I make last time? Caster fern suits, plumes, sand radishes. Here, mint harvest. Uh, do I have enough? Ten k though. That is a lot. Ah, but fine. Who cares? Let's see. You are inside. You are the cherim. Taste of honey. We still need to do that. It's in a different area. Double the fun, double the tails. Elegant tail. Nope. Krogunk is also inside. A scythe. We'll get that done. Mr. Evis can do that. Sea Legend. Oh. Got three mints, four on one harvest, so that's not too bad considering how much of a grind they are in the other games. True, true. 
Wormadan. Wish I hadn't ditched that one Wormadan that I had. You can also apparently just buy candies. <laughs> no, I haven't crafted everything yet I had. I can only craft one, which is a shame. Can craft two. Can craft six. Organize the satchel. Materials. Ten, fifteen. Good news is I have space again. Uh, I have resource again. Bad news is not that much. For the time being, make more Ultra Balls. I can buy chunks if I want to. Okay, you actually managed to make your way back home. Good. One that made it back home safe. Boy, am I... Ever glad to uh, I've asked you. You are just as good as everyone says you are. Ness still new to the security corps, you understand? And she's a bit flighty at best of times. So I can't help but worry about her. If it's not asking too much, do you think you could continue to keep an eye on her? Oh, stop it, Ziki. You're embarrassing me. Just got unlucky this time. That's all it was. That's what you've had me believe. But ever since we were kids, the instant I took my eyes off you... <laughs> You'd be lost somewhere in the bushes. Well, anyways, Jordi, I do appreciate all your help, so thank you for me. More Stardust. Yeah, I got a crow gunk for you. Stinky smelly one, just for you. So this is crow gunk. Got a charming little face, hasn't it? Need a smidgen of your poison, please, Crow Gunk. Would you be so kind? Gunk. Thank you very much. Now to whip it up to that medicine. Pokemon come to our aid in surprising ways sometimes, don't they? Bet we'd be able to help an even greater range of people and Pokemon if we could set up. A kind of aid facility where Pokemon work side by side with us. Of course, we'll need to learn much about Pokemon if that's ever to happen. Starting to think the Survey Corps work will help us in ways people aren't even aware. Basila, my poor back is screaming. One moment, I've got a medicine that ought to be great help. Looks like we'll have Buck up on his feet again, thanks to Crow Gunk. Full heal, smog, speed candy. Anything new? No? <sighs> Yoshi Yoshi. Okay, what else? I need like 20 should be enough for the time being.
How many of these can I make right now? Decent amount. 12. Okay. Now it's time for some running around in another area. Ireland. Oh, wait, we're first going to the Obsidian Fieldlands to <clears throat> give that guy a Scyther. Gotta have more Thumblestone. Without Thumblestone, Yordi is useless. Oh my lord. Nice, Sush. Go away, Staravia. I Chimchar. Should probably try and catch that Chimchar. Whether I need it or not. It's gone. F, you're the F. Oh. Go away, Staravia Alpha. Okay, I guess we need to take both out. Staravia is looking around. Water balls. Holy shit.
Hurricane! Now die, Conoreo. Oh. I know you want me. I know you want ya. Na 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 na. You never have enough abras. Light specimen. Nice. I haven't actually seen Pokemons in these waters yet. Are there any Pokemons in these waters? Oh yeah, and were those... I feel like I should try and catch this one. Hmm. Or kill it. Either one is fine. Shadow Ball. Don't kill it. Um, well, it's dead now. It's not like I really care for Drifloon anyways. Kombi leapt out. When he uses Gust. I don't want to fight with you guys. I haven't actually attempted to catch Torterra yet. Or Inferno. Infernape. Honestly, I don't really want to, anyways. Let me grab these items. Smack this Graveler in the face. I wish I had known that. Thought I could just give it to him. Apparently not. Found a Pokemon. A Pokemon? <laughs> what is this Pokemon you're talking about? One you haven't seen yet. Oh, stop! Give telling me about them then. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sushi is like, oh, I found a Pokemon. I, you haven't seen it yet, so I can't tell yet. <laughs> Freaking MVP sushi. MVP sushi here. MVP Sushi. Okay, where is it? You. For my cleaver for the time being. Hmm. 
Just giving you even more motivation to keep playing. Mate, I'm addicted. I don't need no motivation to keep playing. <laughs> I keep getting distracted by things. Quill got decimated. <laughs> uh, that is not too surprising, honestly. Suj, did you say that you have an evolution alpha? An alpha evolution? I still have to name the uh, Raichu that I caught Ash Ket Ketchum. He hit two thunders in a row, it wasn't raining. <laughs> Alpha Sylveon, yeah, same, I got an Alpha Sylveon as well. Caught it during uh, space-time uh, shenanigans. Distortion. Sylveon best evolution. Uh, I can't really disagree. I honestly, I don't have any favorites. <laughs> I like them all. If I can get more EVs on the. Uh... All five would run around with a full team of shiny e of uh, EVs, not shinies. I haven't gotten a single shiny yet. But yeah, that. I'm assuming you know what the next right Pokemon is called. Uh, we, the evolution of Weavile or Weavile of uh, Sneasel, I think it was called uh, something with 
An S N I O. <laughs> it, it made sense to be something with uh, that Pokemon at least, because of naming conventions. Sneasler, yeah. So that is indeed what I uh, assumed. I'll die then. Stupid Kadabra, if you don't want to be caught, then die. I want one so bad. Do you know the conditions for getting one, uh, Sush? Because I do have two Sneasels. Is that an Alpha Kadabra? Hey, listen here, you fox. Luxray, murder them with lightning! I do, yeah, you need a Hisui and Sneasel, though. Oh, there's a difference between a regular and a Hisuian Sneasel? I didn't see that coming. I thought uh, a regular Sneasel would turn into uh, a Didn't I? I thought I brought the cakes. Uh, oh yeah, here. Why can I not throw the cakes? Sushi, you can't throw the cakes. A mastery seed, nice. Let me try and capture this Abra as well. Like the Jubilife Muffin, right? That was what we were talking about. You can't throw them. Look, it's not on my list. Only my bean cake, which I need to save. Oh, that was not actually what I... Exactly when I don't have the Pokemon with me that can deal with Luxray easily. Oh well. <sighs> Shit happens. Maybe I need to learn how to throw it or something.
Ooh, Mime Jr. Two Mime Juniors. Chunk. Ah, shit. Turned a little bit too far. Still hit it, nice. Get in the ball. Thanks. I need to make something to eat in a bit. Starting to get hungry. Obviously, we cannot let Lizzie hear of this. Get in the ball! <laughs> Mr. Mime, you suck. With your invisible cock walls. I really don't like Mr. Mine. Them putting up walls. You know, Yordi, weren't you uh, like uh, doing a quest here? Instead, you're getting distracted by Pokemon. Hi, hi! There is no end to all the bamboozle bamboozlement. <sighs> Crunch! Ow. Quit attacking me. Trying to fight things here. Single time I think I'll go back to base. Fucking distortion forms. <laughs> uh, great. <clears throat> I do not have that issue whatsoever. That one run. It's another Mr. Mime. OK. 
Okay, let me use this is why I bought them. Got him. Is that another Alpha Cadabra? For some reason, the amount of Alphas that spawn are a lot more right now than before. I missed. Yeah, okay, never mind. Let's go grab this Kadabra over here. Seven Kadabra caught. Okay, I'm officially done. Let's move. And give this bitch lord what he wanted. I guess you must have brought me the Pokemon with the scythe on each arm. Good, show it to me. Look at those keen blades. They'll make short work of this. See, you see these Ramana roses blooming all over this island? I have to gather every last one. I've been trying to pluck all of them myself. Having this, uh, yes, Scyther will help with making things much smoother. All roses? Yes, for my wife, you see. She told me she wanted to fill our garden with these Ramana roses. So I'm gathering every last one here to fill that garden right up for my dear darling. You're taking this too far, what? Seriously? Oh, did you reconsider the Sneasler, dude? Rec did you recognize the Sneasler? I'm not that far yet. I uh, still need to... Um, go to that actual place. I've been doing side quests the entire time. I'm glad you came along before I plucked every rose on this island. I'll just bring some of their seeds home for us to raise together. Hey, Lizzie. Hey, hey, we're done here. Now we need to go to the water place. Got 30 Pokemon. Five K is more than enough. What's up, Lizzie? Mime Junior is done. Nice. Mr. Mime is almost done. We can probably level up a Mime Junior or something. Luxray was already done. Bro Gunk, done, done, done. Kadabra, done, Abra, done. Are you eating, dreaming, sleeping Pokemon? I am, um, <laughs> I am uh, dreaming sleeping Pokemon, not eating. Should get something to eat in a bit though, but I'm lazy. Okay, I can put these away since they don't work. We stacked up on some shard thingies. Okay. Oh, they have Star Ravia. Gotta get a tower. Gotta get you Taurus meat. Truth. I think I'm gonna order food tonight. By the way, maybe.
I hate waiting for distortions to start the same. That's why I'm usually still running around before I do anything else. Um, new request. I gotta go here. I gotta go here. And I gotta go here. And the Apom Hill. Glamio. Yeah, I don't really know what I want to order yet. Which is kind of annoying, to be fair. Okay, Apple Hill. Okay, that's one quest. I feel so betrayed. How come, Sush? Who hurt you? Who do I need to punch in the dick? Or in the vagina? You just say the name and I'll do it. <laughs> uh... No, it's more story based than uh, like other Pokemon. Sep. There's a Pokemon I wanted to catch, so I KO'd the other two Pokemon in the fight first. And as soon as the second one was down, the one I wanted to catch she hit my Arcanine with Earth Power. <laughs> You're doing you, right? Grinding into Oblivion. Oh, yeah, I'm doing that as well, definitely. Hundred percent grinding the game into hell.
After all, there's nothing Jordi enjoys more than doing everything he's not supposed to do. For the story, at least. Ah, Dren. Holy shit, a Dusk Noir? It's large AF as well. Turn around. I want to see what you are. Or if you are, uh... Ho, 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 ho. Wrong buttons, Jordi. Wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. An Alpha Dusk Noir. We're taking that boy out. After taking these boys out. Also, I need to catch one of you. Just go nicely into the Ultra Ball. Kill this one. Okay. Um, God damn it, buttons are hard. This one. Okay, where is it? Just go in like a good boy. Dang it. No. Oh, too close. Hey, bean cake. Three. Cell spray wore off. Mendoxai. I said Mendoxai, not go ahead and try and kill me, bitch. What's up, Sush? Fucking hell. Triple EV spawn distortion. Nice. Let me kill this one. And I had breakfast, so I'm happy. Good. Glad, Lizzie. Throw him a raspberry or something. See if he likes that. Shh. I'm trying. <laughs> Jordy. 
You need to aim. <laughs> Nani, aim. What is that? Cell spray wore off. That is very frustrating. Damn. How did he spot me again? Ooh, space-time distortion. Serious. <clears throat> We've all seen you playing... Cardinal Alpha Electrive 2. Nice, sick. Keep seeing me! Not fair! 15 balls left. It's a shame that I don't have Gigaton yet. Because I do think this is a random spawn. Probably try if he likes to be me. Oh, I got him! Yes! 65! Oh, I still have the Scyther. Okay. Reiterate blocks. There was one person that. Uh, why don't people call you Seppi Peppy? Lol. <laughs> And we need a name for him. Yeah, I still need to name the Pikachu's, the Raichu as well. Yeah, what do you mean, Sush? The Sid UI was worth a damn. Change name. This is... Ash... Cat... Um, Fun name for the gin thing. Can't think of any. That's fine. Just gotta think harder. <laughs> oh, more balloon running. That is fun, I guess. I still need to catch that Chansey as well. I don't think I'm gonna do that right now, though. I'm running out of Pokeballs after all. She made that sexual. Uh, you need to request a name, Lizzie. He 
want it, you gotta send it. Just like how I name you, um, Sepro. Oh, nice. Just got a meta metal coat from the Ginkgo Guild dude. Nice. I bought one <laughs> with points. Be blue. Oh, made a whole thing already. Just got quite the appetite, that's for sure. I like into this little pop up, pip up. I don't think it's safe to let it wander around. I'll bring it back to the village and take care of it. Poor peckishy pip lip. You already share foods. Wait, what foods am I supposed to share? Lizzie, you can't just yell share foods when I don't have foods to share. It's custard. And stop telling me to share food. I can't share food. Guys aren't close enough for me to share. You're already mean today. I'm not mean. I'll bring a few bean cakes. Could at least show us. It's just a bowl. There's nothing. Just the ball. Uh, yaddy yaddy does he. Sush, what kind of food does Chansey like? Twenty-four balloons. Race along the coastline. Should be fine. Total forty. Honey. Okay, good to know. Holy shit, this one is not very easy. Or maybe it is, and I'm just being a scaredy pants. It's not bad at all. I can't turn my camera like this. Holding B. I missed one, Shiza. I missed it. Oh. Damn it. There's some nasty turns I gotta make there, mate. 36. Alpha Eevee number two. Nice. Yordi is always a scary pants. Missed four. Yeah, I missed four. That's good enough. Ooh, I got leaden balls for free. And a nugget and ultra balls. Nice. Mm. 
Oof. Oof. Uh, grain cake. Honey cake. Move all to satchel. Okay, let's go catch this uh, Chansey. Hoppa! Instantly call it! Wait, what happened to the... Oh, that one is already disappeared, I guess. Yuddy yuddy. Hi, Zillar. What did you do, Lizzie? was enthusiastic to see me. So I'm ordered when I get home so I can have it all my days off. I caught a Pokemon. You caught a Pokemon? What? Wait, what? I get it. Bulk found an Alpha Blissey. It'll be insane for grinding. Holy shit, you're right. There was like, oh no, it's Zillar. I would never say that. Okay, I'm not gonna fuck with these guys. They too aggressive. Um. And these lost satchel. Let's go grab that. Oh, give me a sec, guys. My mom is calling.
Okay, I'm back. So, what are you saying, Lizzie? Is that Yordi? Is Papa Yordi? I'm not calling him that. <laughs> what? I don't want you guys calling me that either. <clears throat> I'm surprised that there are so many bug type Pokemons over here in this uh, coastal area. No, we're not making this a thing, guys. I do not approve. Frick, Pikachu. You know what, never mind, we'll kill this Pikachu. Die, Kumario! Vulpix? <laughs> Fucking Molten, why do you gotta chase me? S I swear, f fucking Wolf of God! Too many Pokemons are chasing me today. I do not approve of Pokemons chasing me. Get in the ball, Vilpix. Thanks. Much better. Oh, oops. Not our Alpha Shinx. Moise. Kill the Gyarados. For Burloin. I call the beta mail. <laughs> Lizzie, you suck. I called a beta male. What the fuck, Lizzie? Bring the satchel back to Richie.
Okay, I need a Finium. Okay, caught a Finium. I'm gonna attempt to catch this guy here. <laughs> okay, attempt failed. Should have given a chance to scare the alpha guy you told us about, Lizzie. I feel left out. How are you feeling left out? You're here. That's all that matters. Wow, look at my looks right getting destroyed by a hydro pump here. Okay. This is highly sus, but it's fine. Paralyzed and can move. Items. Ultra Bowl Go! <sighs> okay, got it. Caught. The Luminium. Okay, um, what else was there left that I needed to do? Oh yeah, we were gonna go check on the island again, see if I maybe see an alpha or female. SQ! Daijobu! Do have a few potions still left. Why do I get Baka right away? What did I do this time, SQ? <laughs> uh, SQ be like, you always Baka. Seaside Hollow. Huh. Okay, so Menifee isn't here yet. If Menifee is ever going to be here. That you are addicted 11 hour stream, you went cuckoo. The day before was 12 hours. What do you mean I went cuckoo? Peepo the clown and Mama Lou. There's a cheeky kappa in the end. Don't know what this kappa is. Never heard of it before. Hey, honey cake. <sighs> Stupid Burmese all over the place. <clears throat> How do you evolve a Burmy again into a uh, Warmadan? A female will turn into a warmer down on level 20. Okay. Yes, tell me more, Sushi. While I go actually find and see if I can catch uh, some more uh, Basculin. Woke up in the middle of the night and you were still in line. I'm gonna tell Seppi to slap you. Why? Seppi doesn't want to slap me for no reason. Okay.
Too far away. And looks like... Hey, two Ultra Balls, one Great Ball. Shouldn't have come here during the night. You need a Quill... Over Quill, Buzel, and Mentike in the party. Sleep until evening and surf through the arch near the southern camp. Okay. Did the fucker just disappear? Oh shit, the... Dang it! Uh, I think I don't even have a Buzel anymore. Mentike? I don't even know if I have a Mentike still. Ugh. Thankfully Mentike is not that hard to catch. And Buzel isn't that hard to catch here either. I don't like that there are so many ghost type Pokemon all over the place the entire time. I find it a little bit overkill. Just a little bit. About the book was talking about a book in the library of BDSP. Yeah, I don't. I didn't play BDSP. I did, though. And you might be surprised. Actually, by Brilliant Diamond. <laughs> oh look! Hey, another one of those sign thingies. Heard something. Okay, let's go hunt for a Mentai. Oh, there's a Remoraid. Remoraid, don't need those. Oh, that's um, Alpha Mentai. That was not what I wanted. Oh well. Oh, wrong attack. Haha, <laughs> yes, I caught the flying Gyarados. Really? Zillar? Nice. Good job. Oh, fuck! Really? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Go in. Go in. Nice, I got it. Now the question is whether that one was a male or a female. Okay, we got another Mentai. You know, I just need to catch a Buzel.
Duzel, why are you half asleep attacking me? Ow. This Buzel was just gonna kill hey, me like that. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, Bobo. How are you, friend? Okay. Rapapa. stash a bunch of garbage okay talk to this fool want to see my pokemon I needed a break from Anno 1800, had been playing since this morning. How are the Pokemons behaving? The Pokemons are behaving actually fairly well. Yeah, we got the female Basculin as well! Yay! Party! Party! Move this one here. Move. The one that I catch instantly becomes female. Talk about hype in the hell. Okay, um... I need you to come along. Gyarados can take up a nice spot over here. I need this Mantike to come along. Over Crobat, whatever. Robot next to the shuttles over here. We want Chansey to be here with everyone else. Mime Juniors, Togepi's. And the skull can stay wherever the fuck it was. Sushi's. Okay, and I needed to grab my Overquill. Overcleavor. You get a meal, they can make new Pokemon. No, no. If you had... Nah, not in this game, at least. Bobo? At least I don't know. Can you breed in this game, Sush? Don't think so, right? You need to take, like, 300 recoil damage to evolve. Have fun. <laughs> Uh, just use Wave Crash, right? <laughs> nah, no breeding. Yeah, just uh, spam Wave Crash 500 times. We'll be fine. Where's my other basket? Oh, here. Here's my meal.
No breeding yet. <laughs> uh, Buzel, Overquill, and Decidueye. So, do I need to go through that arc there? I have no idea how you're supposed to figure that out. But, oh, it's not night anymore. Know about Pokemon breeding and eggs. Sets too tight where they don't know a lot about Pokemon. True. Oh, it's the wrong one. Tells you how to in D in BDSP. Oh, that's really lame, by the way. You have to figure it out by playing a different game. <laughs> uh, so rude. But it's that one, right? This uh, round thing here. This arc. No, not this one. In the evening, near the south camp. So in the evening, not at night. Okay, that's one mistake already. Like two giant horns. Aye aye, Captain. Mistakes! Mistakes were made! Oompa Loompa Oompa Loop Ba de 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 doom Oompa Loompa Deepy Doom Bumpa de 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 doom Pa doom Scatter bang. Bang bang, motherfucker. Evening. Boom pa loom pa loo ba be boom Deem pe deem pe de 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 doom Fio! You heard something that sounded like a cry and boulder shifting in the distance. Ooh. Boulder shifting in the distance. Now near Seaside Hollow, I guess? Eh, I'm not in the mood to go back. <laughs> I'll just bring him along on a grand adventure, catching the one and only legendary Pokemon Menifee. past it. Oh. 
pour avoir. Une fiume. Holy boobs! Can I save? Don't think we've ever been able to actually catch a Menifee before. No. Don't think so either. <clears throat> Obviously, we need to catch all of them. Nice instant. Thirty-three. Oh, good job, Yordi. Stand next to it. <laughs> it's no good. It escaped. It grew enraged. Bubble! Critical hit. Holy shit. Don't think I like to see that. Oh, really? Okay, then I'm just purely going after the... Menifee after this one. Do I still have potions? No. Okay, got him. Level 50. Oh. Oh, what? He was just a nanny. What the deuce? Let me knock out the Fion actually first. Send headbutt. <coughs> now Menifee is gonna kick my ass. Agile style. Send headbutt. Yeah, dead. The Sidui is dead. Oh my vamo shindario. Uh, I don't want to attack it on one side to lower it. I did save beforehand so we can redo it. Purely go after the Menifee. We have to. Okay, it's not too bad. Moonblast. Rough. Moonblast again. Okay. Go in the Pokeball, Manaphy! For a second there, I thought it was gonna instantly go in. Oh no, Manaphy grew enraged. Moonblaster! Wow. Got him. I got some flotsam. Eh, hey, hey, now we're done in this shit stick of an area. 
Hey, 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 Dark Untro, what's up? I'm doing good, how are you? Okay, you up? I will check everything else later. See, you've cut our mysterious swimmer, so it was Menifee all along. It seems Menifee here is uh, a migratory Pokemon drifting to and from across the sea since long ago. At least that's what it says in the sea's legend. I had a jolly hard time getting hold of this tome, but it seems it was worth it in the end. Should probably get my Cherubi to tend and evolve it for the quest. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Doing good, just eating some breakfast. Nice, nice. I still need to find a freaking Cherubi. <laughs> Dot Chensi Duskull needed Finion is done. Nice Cleavor. Oh, you instantly start you off at this level. Just need to catch one and then use Moonblast, Take Heart, Strong Style, and Agile moves. This one is also just catch one and then use all these abilities. Aww. Almost a new rank. La 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 la. At least we got a shit ton of shit done. Um, Overquill, you can stay. Obviously, we're keeping Menifee. And one Fion. That is the wrong area. Okay. Mentike and Buzel can piss the fuck off. You can't get Cherubi outbreaks. It's worth keeping an eye out for. Nice. Uh, okay, many, many quests to deliver. Many quests done. First this lady. Oh no, you want the Octillery. I've not been in the mood to actually try and catch many Octillery. Yeah. I've only seen one Octillery in the entire game, and it's an, uh, an Alpha. I don't want to deal with that. Not right now, at least. Well, now that I've seen such a clear example of the real thing, get a proper shot. You know, I must admit, I feel quite relieved to know that it truly really was just Pokémon in the end, and a Pokémon with its own sort of charm, really. The Pokémon in Nighttime Photo. You needed something, right? About your request. Oh yeah, you needed a Warmadam. I'm actually going to grab mine and just level it up. Burmy. Stupid ass thing. I just got up to 10 by beating them up in distortions. I haven't seen a single artillery in distortions yet. Um, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Money, money, money. <laughs> 
Three large from level 10 to 31. Nice. <clears throat> I think I'm probably just gonna do the same thing with the auxiliary, uh, the alpha auxiliary. Just fight him a shit ton of times, maybe catch him once. If it's if as if Wormadan has become one with the lush nature of Hisui. So capable of this. Yes, I've got it. I've got it. I would be pleased if you would have a look at the latest edition. I'm not even gonna look at your clothing uh, setup, madame. M -m madame. What are you selling, bitch? Smoke bomb set. Oh, that is actually not too bad. Give me extra. How about you? Anything? Nope. Um. Missions. Even more wares, that is still a thing. Taste of honey. Artillery ink, double the fin. It's Netta. Elegant tail, can't do that one yet. Eerie night apparitions, working on that. To bloom or not to bloom? You can give alpha to the farm dudes to just have huge Pokemon wandering about. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious, but also kind of feels like a waste. If I'm completely honest. Finion, where is the bitch? Here it is, Finion. The way it wiggles its fins is so door. Well, it is it just me or does it look very large here? It's like they're fluttering in the wind. You've outdone yourself on this one. Thanks so much for taking on my request. Now on you, Survey Corpse folk have my full support. Keep giving it your all out there. Put the warm up dam back. I'm just gonna bring both my bascule in. And Menifee, because Menifee is a sh legendary, and legendaries are cool. Just make them uh, hit themselves in the head the entire time. Love to save where I only give people all of us. Yeah, that sounds fucking amazing, honestly. Also sounds like a shit ton of work, but... Okay, so the 32 Basculin doesn't even have Crash yet. Mimi, mama, mama. Kind of curious what new Pokemon we're going to run into in the next area. Yeah, I don't have your shit yet. But what I do have... Is... Money! Money, 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 money! Oh, you hear a Nugget. 10k. And three of these. Okay. Give me money. 
Also, how many uh, I can buy from you, right, without having to make them myself. I only have 12 left. Enough smoke bombs. Let me buy, like, 20. Um, did I buy all your recipes yet? Yeah, which is expensive as fuck. Uh, 50 Ultra Balls, 18 Leaden Balls still left. That's good enough. There's a new quest to grab. I still need to name... Uh, did she- did he lose his friend again? Her friend, their friend, whatever. Zeke. There you are, I've been looking for you. My sister won- oh, one that went off the Cobalt Coast and she never came back. I've asked her fellows in the security corps to be on lookout, but they haven't found her. I'm worried sick, can you find her? Yeah, I'll go find her once, like, uh, I'm in the mood. I'm not gonna fucking find this- person again. Took way too much effort the first time. You're these full-on Pokemon grinder, truth. Oh yeah, I remember who we were gonna call Seppi, uh, Papi. It was the... What is he called again? That uh, ghost alpha that we caught. This one. Change name. Set. P. <laughs> Seppy Puppy is officially a female Dusk Noir. Sure, why not? The Jin Mom. <laughs> I need this Basculin to learn his wave attack. Okay, good. Wave crash. Overbite. Fucking care. Did you just assume my Pokemon gender? No. It was stated right up there that that Pokemon is a female. Look. See? See the pink female signal? That means you're a lady. You're a whammon. A grill. <laughs> Hey, hey, finally, we can go to the new area. Where you are discriminating via this game. This game should be cancelled. <laughs> this game should be cancelled, he says. Cornet Highlands. You should be cancelled, Sep. It's a good thing you don't have Twitter. There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock-type and ground-type Pokemon wandering around these craggy boulder-strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in the space-time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Make your way up... The mountain with Igno. Oh, it's a Clefairy statue. And a Nose Pass statue. It's all kind of broken and beaten, though. Just not so nice. Let's 
It's a lot of gold bats. Wow. Barely dodged that. Luxorain. Nineteen wisps remaining in this area. This for Americans and politicians, no interesting content for me. It has a lot of boobage for me though. <laughs> People post all their hentai over there. I mean what? Q bone, says Siller, favorite Pokemon. Let's see if we can find a Cubone here. Sush probably has already found something of interest in this area. Yeah, but they need to censor it on Instagram. They don't need to censor it in... Uh, on... Uh, Oh, I wish I could get over there. Oh wait, I can. I can just jump in the water. And then do double jump. If I catch a Q-Bone, I will name it Zillin. A little Marowak though. I think that's just as good. But if there's a low Marowak, then there's probably as well... Wave crash! Basculin got crit hit it. Sad. Go, second Basculin. Do your face pounding attack. Golbat defeated. No! No Cubone, we got a name after something right. Critical hit. <clears throat> False poison. Just killing my Pokemon. Go, Menifee! What a cute little bugger. Stardust, Hardy Grains. Yanma, Luxurace. It was only two points, but it doesn't matter if it actually dies, right? During the fight, it still counts. <clears throat> oh, 
I should probably bring potions if we're gonna do it. Only got three potions. Cool. Wait, what did it say? Oh, I thought it was saying something about Cubone. Don't worry, I'm only deaf. Okay, so you need to make normal potions, then you make hyper potions, and then you make... That's an annoying process, not gonna lie. Okay, uh, brought potions so that we can trash our Basculin as much as we like. Okay. I trust you. The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. Its electrical discharges, at least, are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokémon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokémon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode, then becoming frenzy to boot. So true. I thought it's a tough old life for Pokémon and humans alike. Oh, is it fucking Melee again? I hate this fucking... I, I don't like this guy. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan. And oh my, the Galaxy team grunt from before. Oh, you can't find Voltorb all over the mountain, by the way. Nice. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the Great Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. But by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The Great Sequoia you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Absolutely not. Hmm, well then, let me tell you the great Millie's take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of the Almighty Sinner's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that that's a good thing? Yes, because you're a dumbass. We must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as is right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I'm here on this earth. What business is it of galaxy teams anyway if Electro lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Really, you should do us all a f all favor and slink back home to that village of yours rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage! You fucking cocksucker. What a selfish outlook. Strenzies cause the Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do, Yordi? Press on. We go forward. Very well. The tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself in on safe driving. To meet a Sneasler, Yordi, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Well, it's odd. The torch that I that lit the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly's attempt to obstruct us? Either way, there is no need for concern. I know my route and I'll conduct us safely through. No darkness, no foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll! Take care not to come uncompile me. Hmm. I recall faintly that I had a partner once, a precious one. Its name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. 
If only it were here, I'm sure it would light the way luring us onward. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you. But given my the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. Take care not to come. I think that the first time you ever been able to turn down a fight and not be forced to have actually say yes to proceed. Wait, I could say yes. I thought they both were just. Uh, I thought the top one was sure. Take me on, bitch. Is this guy ringing any bells yet? No, not really. I'm being completely honest here. I wanted to battle him and put him on his fucking place at the bottom of a mountain. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be... Your lanterns! Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through. They're both no, but I don't think you've ever been allowed to say no to a battle in Pokemon game before. <laughs> you want to know who he is? Yes. Ingo. Yeah, tell me. My safety concerns have been addressed, ready for departure. If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. One of the battle train bosses from Black and White. Oh, I never played Black and White. So it explains why I don't know. I never did the battle train shenanigans either, so... Buenos dias, Hiko! How are you, good sir? Hey, Gibble! Taco. Taco, Taco Bell. And I'm good. Glad to hear that, Hiko. This whole time I've been thinking it would be fun if we met someone from a different game through the rifts. Then boom. Yeah. Hey. Can't leave a single corner unturned, as they say. Also, the damn diamond chick that joins the hairdresser shop. Yeah. There are a few uh, people that, like, you know, um, one of the... I think she's Silver's ancestor. Wait, is that what you're thinking about? You didn't even think about the fact that she looks exactly like one of the admins from uh, Diamond, Pearl and Platinum? And the same with one of the three uh, bandit sisters. What's her name? I think it was Coin. Is also one of the admins. But that's all I can see. <laughs> I mean, it's something. Air slash. Goodbye, Basculin, you're dead. <laughs> Should have brought revives. Commander's 100% Crash Awake 2. I've never seen Crash Awake without his uh, mask though, so that is kind of an interesting take.
Um, beam. Up. I'd love a family tree scene in the credits just to show us who everyone's related to. That would be sick. Barboach. Oh, hey, here's the alpha that we were so scared of before. Kind of purely just want to kill this alpha right now with Luxray. Should be easy enough. Level 60. Cross poison. Maybe not. Thunderfang! Uses rest. Okay. Ursa Luna's Warren also heavily reminds me of the painter chick from Alola. Is she probably related to Cynthia? Huh, interesting. Uses rest again? What is this rest spam? He keeps taking more damage as well. Aw, oh, he's went in strong style cross poison. Goodbye, Luxray. You have been faithful to the cause. Oompa loompa dee boo dee doomp doompa doompa boo ba dee doop. Full twist. This is all post apocalypse set in the future, not the past. That would be dope. Professor Leventon told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisoi, a region whose name I've never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But still, I wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. The deuce. Oh, hey, here's Her regular Heracross. <laughs> Psydux. Paris. Dee-doom, dee-doo, dee-dee-doom. Do Sixteen wisps remaining. I honestly thought we were gonna get Braviary first, though, Sush. Before uh, anything else. Also kind of curious what Sneasler is gonna do for us. Ooh, a hair cross out of the fucking thing. We've a crush! 
Recoil. Sword stands. Pascalin. Hey, an Alpha Mothim. Must be very friendly. Don't know what is making earthquakes like that, but uh, I take it back. Must not be very friendly. Wave crush! Nice critical hit. Slash, don't kill. Trapped, killed again. Nah, if we got Brave here, we have no need for Sneasler. True, I guess. Need to watch out a little bit with the Pokemon that I'm gonna attack now. <laughs> Yeah, the name of a Hisuian evolution for Sneasel. We have no idea what he looks like, or at least I don't have any clue. Currently. Double bonnets. Need those at least. I have a Sneasel. I have two Sneasels, but we need to Hisuian Sneasel. Okay, Fuckface is back. What's the big idea putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away? Can you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems notable to me. It's like Galarian Meowth. Hmm. Well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in the cave who prefer the dark. But now you louts have put my effort to waste. If you think I'll let... I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you are sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed, Yordi? I'll beat him. Yeah. He sucks. Go Skunk Tank. Oh wow, he has a fitting... Pokemon for his personality. <sighs> a stinking skunk tank. She's a she, by the way. But she has no chest. I legit thought that it was a dude. That was insanely queer. Yes.
Listen here, neither I nor Skunk Tank commit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skunk Tank time to recover. There's no shame in tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. Listen, it's. I don't see. This is not small booba. This is no booba. Literally. <laughs> what a lively character. Can't fathom Warden Melly's intentions, but for now, let's press on. He's not even going to heal my Pokemon? Damn. Rude. We're not even at the end yet, Sush. You already want an expansion pass? This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I can't say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the graces of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are. Give over Quill Sucker Punch at least. Volvo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about your, that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing. So it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. <sighs> so you might do better to pose your questions to Yordi. I think, if it's to do with... That rift. <coughs> Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you, Yordi? You remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift. Was there anything inside? Maybe something. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. You think so? Indeed, I did some digging and found some records indicating that this space time rift also appeared in history in a distant past. That's why we already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that the almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why has this space time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Yordi have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I verfully hope you unravel this mystery, Volvo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzy of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I am a mere admiring, admirer of runes and little more. If something needs investigating, then... I wouldn't entrust that task to Yordi. Until next time, then. Why is nobody healing my Pokemans? <laughs> Should have brought revives. As we're through here, it will be just a little further. Let's move with speed, but not hassle. Not haste, I guess. Ooh, Bronzor. Ooh, they activate quite quickly. Okay, you know what? We'll catch a few. See if it just goes into the Ultra Ball like I want to. Yeah. Dang it. Nice, easy catch.
Bronzong uses Iron Defense. Nope. Oh, yes, nice. Blasted! Wow, it survives. F. It's a little bit of a waste of PP already. I think we should be start looking for what Yordi wants to go have for dinner, don't we? What do you guys think I should have for dinner? Steak night. Mm. Nah, I think steak is kind of a waste. To eat right now, at least. I'd rather make steak myself. Holy shit, got hit by high horsepower like that. What the deuce? Luke's arrays, Lucio's. I'll be honest, I'm kind of disappointed in the kind of Pokemon that we're running into right here. I've only seen two new Pokemons. Heroes. Oh, this is a different person. Donor. Ah, you're part of Galaxy Team. I've been waiting. Came here since I heard you all were planning to set up a camp. It seems not much progress has been made since that Bronzor is getting in the way. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so we can't just ignore it either. Please, do you think you could find out what this Bronzor wants? Pasta, baguettes, pizza, bitterbolle. Zilla is putting in a lot of effort. Bukake, broach coquette. Hamburgers. Chicken something, Zor. Is there something over there? Okay, I'll go have a look in a bit. <laughs> Eco wants <one's> bukake. <laughs> Veggies, Pog, Wild Togekiss. Nice. Chinese takeaway. Ugh. 
still have a look at uh... Go monkey eat Rob. I agree with Suppler. I don't agree with Suppler at all. Suppler is a fool. Shabu to go. Pokeballs. Meat and chips. Minimum of 25. Jesus Christ. El Mama, minimum of 10, but that would be... Uh, can't eat that at the same time. Shitty kebab. Minimum of 10 plus 2. So annoying. Nero. Minimum of 15. Tokyo Rijswijk. KFC. Zor. It's the next Golduck and name it Zillin. I will get monies for Cubone to be Zillin. Exists. Nice, he was a good boy and went into the first ball. Nice. Zor, roar, roar. Saw Bronzor go fly off in this direction all of a sudden. What in that Bronzor is wounded. Just no good. Here, I'll fix it right up. Bram Ladarsh. Mm, McDonald's, 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 Kentucky Fried Chicken and Pizza Hood. I don't know what I want. It's so hard to figure out what you want sometimes. Six pieces of carrots and a cucumber. What are you getting to eat? I don't know yet, Lizzie. I'm having a look. Zor! So Zor! Milkshake anywhere? Does it say milkshake anywhere? No! They have smoothies and, s and shit, shit, but no milkshakes. What a fucking idiot. Burgers. Qualitaria. You know what? I feel like we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna need to pay for travel costs anyways. Alpha Garchomp time. Oh, you mean your uh, Gibble that you had is becoming an Alpha. Okay, hype sushi. Ah. Burger menu. Red Rebel. Original menu, the bowl. Okay, you know what I think I'm gonna go with? Nah, I don't want monster sauce. No barbecue sauce, cocktail sauce. You know what? We'll try this truffle mayonnaise thing. Parmesan sauce. 
Pesto. Let's try that. Rospetot, sure. Extra topping. Give me some bacon. Sausage bear. Nah. Oh yeah. Drunk here by chocolate milkshake, jongen. Sure. Okay. <coughs> la 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 la. We need to change a few things. I see that this. The, 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 the. Mm. Best evolution. Dark one. Embryon it is. Uh, give me a sec, come back. Um, items to fuck. Where's my burger? Here, burger menu. We're gonna try this one. We are going to get bacon on it, Ross. Like that. And then we're just gonna add a big milkshake ourselves, right? We want, no, we, yeah, we want big, big chocolate. Big chocolate. Pistache? Ew. The big chocolate. Okay, yeah, that's what we want. Uh, we still want to change the... That, yeah. Done. Lar. Okay. Um... I want an alpha living dex, oh my god, Sush. Don't you think that's a little bit overkill? New campsite! Yay! Oh, 100%. It would be dope. Truth. See, this is what you already need. New campsite. So that we can heal up my Pokemons. Mistakes were made. What is the mistake? What did you do, Sush? You guys are grinding that bad boy either way, so... Partially. I already have a uh, Alpha Carnivine, though. Another Carnivine. Kinda hoping to run into some rock type Pokemon, but can't find them. Through my Eevee and Alpha Graveler forgetting it was level 30. <laughs> Good job.
Ooh. Olfa. Whatever his name is. Bonzong. Good to know that we can hunt Bronzors here. Go away, Alpha Bronzong. <laughs> it has Iron Till. We'll be fine. Instant regret. That is a typical sushi thing. Oh, I can crunch it, uh, but it's not wave crash. Let's just wave crash it. And then bite it. We regret nothing! You would never expect to be able to climb such a sheer cliff as these, yes? But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew some secrets, some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such things in his story, surely. Yeah, like rock climb! HMs! Look at them talking about that shit. Yet I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Just who was I before I came to Hisui? Nice, Zillar. Turtwick is dope. If you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you will, will jog this memory loss. Would you honor me with a battle, Yordi? All right. All aboard then, Machoke, prepare for departure. Warden Ingo. Machoke. Basculin, go! Okay, what is my typing again? Pure water, right? Pure water, right? Okay, then we're fine. We just uh, wave crash at it. Wait, he actually called him back? Tangla. Yeah, that's that's a no-go. I can't send my thingy at a Tangla. Luxray. Ice Fang. Oh, it survives. But it got Frostbite. Energy Ball. Did he... Um, ooh, he has Gliscor? Kinda wanna send in Besculin here, purely so that I can do Wave Crash. It's fine. If I die, I die. I'll just heal up back at camp. Oh, nothing happened. Good. Wave crash! Oh, it survives. Dang it. Strong style. There goes Basculin. <laughs> Why the fuck am I hearing fireworks? Target is obscured and you missed Mipom. Oh, I forgot about that. Try again. Ice Fang. Good. Machoke. 
No! Oh, it doesn't affect me very much. Double edge. Never mind, that's gonna kill. How fast is this fucking Machoke? Okay, we're dear. Go! Use something. <clears throat> Strong style. Side shield bash. <clears throat> This one is done, by the way. Bravo, excellent. Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory. Now allow me to call Sneasler. Holy shit, Sneasler looks dope. Allow me to introduce you, Yordi. This keen claw Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? You know what's interesting about this flute? It's just a pipe. <laughs> a pity I already have her types on my team. The toxic plate. She's a toxic type? Uh, poison type? I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneezler's aid and quell the lord up on the mountains. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Poison fighting? Now then, all aboard! That is super fire. Climb up and down cliff ledges and other sheer surface with Sneezler's aid. When you're near climbable surface. Or use plus in any other location. That is fucking fire. She's all terrain and I love her. She's all terrain and I love her. Wow, she actually just walks. Look at us being in the basket here. She doesn't really jump, that's kind of a shame. She can climb pretty much everything, like Sushi says. No more having issues with stupid things we can't climb. She's my preferred mode of transportation. I mean, she's not as fast as Weird here, though. Flash Cannon, is this gonna hurt? Not very effective, but it still hurt. Um, I'm gonna run away from it. I only leave her to throw things. Fucking clever. This part is an entire path. I want to explore this, man. She 
She is seriously cool when she climbs. Hey, Onyx. Onyx we can use as target practice for Basculin. Target practice! Let's go! <laughs> Let's see how much damage we uh, take. That's not a lot. Rather disappointing, actually. Hey, crunchy salt. It's what we need for a quest. Uh, Rhyhorn. Ooh, Chimeco. Nice. Chimeco's mine. Alpha Probo Pass, let's go. Seventeen minutes and my food is here. New move learned. Holy shit! Alpha Steelix! Wait, is that an Alpha Steelix and an Alpha Chimeco there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does a. Eh? Uh, it's a regular Chimeco, I've said nothing. Wonder what it likes. Okay, but I'm not gonna catch this right now. It's not gonna work. Just put it on the list. Your first ever distortion, Sush? What do you mean? some potions to heal up this Basculin. Crunchy salt, iron chunk, mechanozone is flying here. Random one spawned first time I was in a distortion. Despawned by the time I was able to hide. Try to catch it. Wait, distortion is that different than the? What's it called? Time space distortion thing? Hmm. 
Mm, that's a lot of falling damage. Huh. Try to catch it. I don't I don't think I get it. I think I'm missing something. What you're trying to explain at least. Okay, my female basculin can evolve now. Wow. This one is white. That's super sick. The female one. Shadow Ball. Hex. One of the time space distortion off the field spawned. I tried hiding so I could catch it, but it despawned. Uh, okay. Think I get it. Sort of. They fast, yo. <laughs> My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, they're like I could teach you, but I have to charge <clears throat> This is where my burger is Holy shit, this burger is large Hey, the hippos are here as well, and a bunch of gravelars. A croak. Hey, Alpha Sligoon. Or uh, Gudra. Fucking bronze, I'm giving away my location. <laughs> My Pokemon do the same thing 
freaking annoying. Or my Pokemon, the enemy's Pokemon. Mama Chick brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours and they're like, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. Holy shit. Sneasel goes before the city eye. Vegetables. Ugh. Well, I can tell you at least that you should be able to get the other ones in post game. <laughs> yeah, but I want my starter to be useful. Can't have everything, my dude. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Wait, I can quick travel back to camp. You moron.
I'm gonna use uh, Disc Noir. Screw you guys. Don't screw you, because you can actually easily die. Basculin is dead again. Fuck. Quit killing my boy. Game. <gasps> Alola and Sneasel. Uh, Isui and Sneasel. the other stars earlier than post game. Now nah, I'm talking about the Hmm. Okay, I said nothing. Hoping for a razor claw. Suey and Sneasels look fucking dope. Look at all the magic carps. Magic carp, 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 magic carp. K. 
Gasoline. Hunter, Geodude. I need to find Miss Drevis. Ooh, Clefable and Clefairy. Outside. <clears throat> Roselia often says no, thank you, fam. Zillia's pure evil. Oh, unknown. Didn't even see the fucker for in front of me. Fuck a G. Should really start making some Pokeballs again soon. Can confirm Roselia as evil. <laughs>
Guys, explain to me, why the fuck is this game so fucking good? Why am I having so much fun with this game? There has to be a plausible explanation for it, right? of one of the best games of all time and one of the best franchises of all time. True. Makes sense. Alpha Golem. <laughs> yeah, I kind of stopped upgrading my bag at this point. Because I need money for Pokeballs. And all their equipment. Zong. Wait, is that a Mr. Evis?
Rotal? Good idea to send a water type at a Rotom. <clears throat> Pray for good mints. <laughs> How am I gonna capture this Rotom? Also, not allowed sushi. <laughs> I feel like during the evenings I need to go this way if I want Miss Drevis. Now would you look at that. Full Torps. And we now know where the Alpha Luxio is. Yeah, I find that annoying as well. But with that, I also say that it I've had worse systems. Where the storage system is, for example, completely garbage and you need to be in there the entire time. So I'm not completely off put by this. Oh, found the Alpha Riparior spawn. Also, look at how big this Riparior is. Ow.
Fulltorp has such a smile on its face. Cute guy. Gyarados in the lake. More Sneevel, Sneasels. <clears throat> Scythars. Damn it, I can't throw for shit. These are 53. Random cave, nose pass, probo pass. Is this a cave that I can just enter, or...? Primal Grotto. Fossils. Actually getting to see these fossils life-size, that's kind of sick. What is that? Serious power from the ore, almost like the very pearls of the land itself. Funky. Oops. Glygar! Is that an old fuck life score? Oh my lord, old fuck life score.
all the Gligars over the ledge. Yeah, I'm teleporting. <clears throat> we'll go climb the other side and then head to the... Oh. Sweatpants <laughs> and a tank top. I'm eating a hamburger. A hamburger. From a local snack bar. Puppy. <laughs> Even though he's female. <laughs> Damn, that was good. You know what else was good? I have a freaking milkshake. Yeah, I got fries. <clears throat> Summons say dirty things and slop some booties. Where, Sush? In that spot at the graveyard here somewhere? Mean sexist. I <clears throat> okay, then I know where to look later for um, side quest.
What did you do, Sush? Basculin just did like 100 damage to himself. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> I bet you felt that one through clearly. The more damage he is, faster he evolves. Nice, Ilar. Keep at it, boy. Hey, Gibble. Not that he killed himself. No, that's true. So I just called my work because I've gotten like two calls. The phone is being funny and only accepting some calls. The rest goes straight to voicemail. I mean, I'm not going to tell anyone less work for me. <laughs> Smart. Hey again, Zillar. Oh, I think I found Miss Drevis. Good. <laughs> Hey, Bonesley! I didn't know Bonesleys could to jump out of the cracks to hell. Look at Lizzie being smart and evil, and my my Anna, uh, evil Knievel. I'll just say that. happened before and I acted dumb. Jesus, Basculin, you still haven't reached your fucking max, mate. 300 recoil damage. Should have been there five years ago. Okay, this is dead end. <clears throat> I guess. I guess Lizzie got a good point there.
Hey, Sudo-Wudo. Celestica runes. As long as you're having fun. Good job, Sudo Wudo, killing yourself. As long as you don't kill my Basculin. Then we can be bros. I am running out of PP on my Basculin. <clears throat> I don't know why. Look, the Olga statue. And a Palkia statue. To decide if I want to keep him. I'm keeping him for a bit at least, until uh, the game decides to tell me, like, oh, you don't need to hold on to him anymore. Oh, that way keep him. Heck no, fam. As soon as he evolves, he goes into the PC. <clears throat> Which is now. Well, after I did all the things. Looks like I'll be going female. And my female is ready. <clears throat> but I do like the male version better than the female version, appearance-wise, that is. People bold as fuck this homeless man straight up told me he was looking for money. <laughs> I mean, if he is... Then what's the problem? <laughs> uh, a little bit of a little, little, little. Change moves. Take heart. Over bubble. At least he isn't lying to you. Ooh, a nugget. Special attack. Well, that's good, right? <clears throat> Woo, Razor Claw. Woo. Does uh, the other sneeze, the Suyan Sneasel, still evolve with Razor Claw? Or also evolve. Gave to him at the door. <laughs> uh... Lizzie being brutal AF. He turned my lights on in a bit.
Another fucking Rotom. Look at the biatches standing there. <clears throat> Some two. They're pretty rare though. I mean, I'm probably just going to uh, save up points if I need them. Lights! Shit. It's lights, camera, and action! Uh -huh. <laughs> Hell no, milk. I just went to freaking drink a tire milkshake. Milk will come later. I'm not risking my life. I'm not security. Camera. Milk. Still haven't spent any points. Might grind for an alpha before I evolve her. Here, have your 500 points back. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt. But such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. 
As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Lord Electrode's seat, you and your little Pokémon are welcome to give it your best shot. Let's go, Skunk Tank. Give them another whiff of your silent deadliness. <clears throat> wow, did they just really... Th did he just really throw three Pokémon at my face? Like it was nobody's fucking business? And jab. So rude. Dang, Menifee sleepy. Manaphy is getting destroyed! Moon Blaster! Okay, Manaphy's dead. Sad face. Okay, Luxury, it's your turn. Ben Yordi? No. That was AFK. You don't ban me. <laughs> yeah, you should ban it. It's a bolt. To job. Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may want may have won, but there's a difference. Melly, I still think this is a guy. I just lacked er uh, time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Ah. Could this be why Adamon is always going on and on about time being so being a precious thing? My word, the Diamond Clan and Almighty Sinnoh truly are never-ending founts of wisdom. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electrode like. What's the matter, upset? Too bad anger doesn't make bombs. I'm a pervert! Melly, really giving you a run around, isn't he, Yordi? See? Sushi, it's a dude! See? He says he! I knew it! Sushi, you're wrong! God damn it! <clears throat> Saying Melly is a woman. I got eye for this shit! <laughs> I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the... Adamon! What now? I could hear you just now, you know. Are you really going to tell this noodle what he needs to find just like that? Lest we all forget, you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you ever looked at your frenzied lords? 
Don't you even, don't you feel even a twinge at how it suffers fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Melly, I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Yordi here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell him that he needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to him. Now it's time to make some bombs, so lend a hand, both of you. Fine, at the end of the day, let none say that the great Melly sh shriked his duties as a warden. I'll help make your precious bombs. I hate Melly. He's really... He's one son of a... There, I made, your, made you a particular, particularly infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electrode. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. No shit! I told you, Sush! I told you! <laughs> Sushi got me all confused, like, oh, 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 he is a dude. Could have sworn I seen them say she earlier. <laughs> she my butt. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I am very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. My butthole can quell this shit without looking. Okay, I can teleport now. Like, let me actually grab something that is strong against electricity. <clears throat> Does rock still count as strong against electricity? Uh, I don't have that much. That's actually very good against electricity, now that I think about it. Nah, yes. Yes, no, yes, no, 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 yes, yes, no, no, no. Napoleon is not a good idea. Too low. Ash, catch him. Electricity. First, electricity is not gonna do me any good. <sighs> if only I had put a little bit of effort into getting someone with a. You know what? Hashtag go get get Go goddamn give a fuck. Well, I don't even have a ground type. Water is best. Okay. Now, Ryorn hasn't been leveled. It sucks. Uh, Yordi? Yes, that is me. Cleavor. Menifee will stick with. Deuce. I have Gastrodome. That is actually a good one. Earth Power. Hupike. Alpha Gastrodome. Perfect. I mean, I can. I do have an Alpha Rhyhorn. See where he actually is. Here, level 39 Alpha Rhyhorn. Okay. 
Uh, I was gonna see what Gastrodon had for moves set. Icy Wind, Hydro Pump, Recover, and Earth Power. I think that's fine, right? Yeah. It's grass! Oh yeah, it's grass. Oh my god, it's grass. It's grass electric, right, Sush? Shit. Uh, wait a sec. I need fire, and I don't even have fire. Looks right. What do we have on you? Ice probably works. Ice Fang will work. Decidui, nothing weird here is fine. Cleavor, also gonna get cucked. Seppapi is fine though. <laughs> it's grass. God damn it. A Rapidash is in high enough level. Uh, this is why you need to start leveling more. Wait, if it's grass, then scissor will probably do fine. Electric, steel, face bug steel. Still low level though. Fuck this shit, honestly. We'll see how it goes. Whoop! Let's go to the moon view area, arena. Okay, uh, we're starting off with Luxray. So even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pitch yourself against Electrode. <coughs> I'm using Overquill. Yeah, but my Overquill is not high enough level. <laughs> You've a great deal more pluck than you have sense, I'll give you that. Word of advice, don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode, or you'll be dead in no time. After all, I only have a normal Overquill. Whew. Wow. The Electrode! The Voltorb all look so fucking happy and the Electrode is like, fuck no, mate. <laughs> Yo. Can uh, those balls piss the fuck off? Yeah, truth. Use energy ball to start off with, root. Pray that I just kill it in one go. Thick. 
He also just keeps dropping those fucking elect uh, Voltorps on your head. Oh, what the fuck is he doing? A faster one now? Dude, the range is also increased. <laughs> Like, what the deuce? Is he gonna start off again? Yeah, another energy ball. As long as he doesn't crit, I'm fine. I can use Luxor again. <laughs> this fight is fucking spicy, mate. Come on, Borge, better. I said Dorge better, not worse. Uh, this is really annoying. Send in the city UI. Thunder wave. It's fine. Triple arrow. Two hits. Thunder. Not very effective. True, but Melly's still dick. At least it's over now. <laughs> what a cock. What a piece of garbage. Don't you think he looks a little like a Goomba, the Electrode? <laughs> the Zap Plate from Electrode. Yordi's gonna dead. No, I won. Lizzie. I won. Super good. Oh, for shame, what utter calamity. Adamant walks like this. Like... <sighs> <laughs> I agree to make those atrocious bombs, yes. But now that almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing... ...has vanished forever, it's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electro looks relieved to me. Glad it's suffering ended, probably. Oh, come on, Adaman. Seriously, that's just your wishful thinking. Nothing more. All you preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit. But if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrive right on schedule. Now, what did you bother coming back for? <laughs> That's how you walk normally. No, I don't. Only to say that I recall some things after you already did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with the world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. 
Most people that are caught Pokemon live with them, form supportive partnerships with them. And then there were Pokemon trainers, the ones we called Pokemon trainers who were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked towards the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers forge bonds of understanding with their Pokemon and with their opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo's described to Yordi? Sure was. I never have thought such a world could exist. Huh. Once again, the brilliant Warden Melly has realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokémon that need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokémon can reach their potential. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Oh my god, how, mu how much more are we gonna have to deal with Melly? He's such a pain. Hey, Admon, share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. Alright, alright, open your ears, shut that big mouth, listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, bring not Almighty Sinnoh to sorrow. For that is when time flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo, excellent. Please, all of you, do your best and run towards the destination, an even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Yordi. It sure lies with the next lord. Now, this time I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilee Village. Perhaps with someone like you, like Yordi, to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kamado my report. Until next time, Yordi. Dun, dun, dun. Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what All Might Sinner really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time, and it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Listen, I do not want to see you for the rest of my fucking playtime of this game. I will purely never replay this game if that means that I do not have to see your face again, Melly. <clears throat> there, I said it. <laughs> oh, crap. <clears throat> you already being mean. Now this is Jordi being aggressively annoyed. <laughs> Ooh, Electabuzz. Electabuzz. If you're ever curious if I dislike someone, that is how I'll most likely be reacting. <laughs> The city I got murdered. I've only seen electric type attacks. Gastrodon, you can handle this. I forgot how large you actually are, Gastrodon, as an alpha. So 
super dramatic. Dramatic to the extreme. Elect a boss. Ooh. Oh, that is probably a regular one then, I guess. And the Electriver up there is probably the Ulfa that is always here. I'm having another sandwich. Jealous. Should I try and fight it? Sure, let's go try and fight it. Gain some experience points. Thunderbolt. So. Can still have another sandwich. Let's kill it. Damn, but that burger was really good. This is Stone Portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. Eh. Oh. <laughs> Here I was like, but I'm not anyone. I am the one. But no, they disagreed. Oh, time to clean up some quests again. You've caught 27 Pokemon. Care to report your findings? Money, money, monies. Jordi likes some monies. I only cleared Clefairy. And Basculin. Boom! Rank 8 in a bit. Lord Electrode Quelt. Nice. Okay, now I need salty, crunchy salt three, right? Oh, you want something again, don't you? You know, I showed that photo of Duskull to the children in the village. They all shriek with delight. Thanks again for helping me out with it. In fact, I'd like to ask you for help once again, if I might. Would you take a look at this? Hey, that's a turd wig. We found that one already. Looks like a perfectly normal landscape shot, wouldn't you say? But take a closer look and you start to notice something odd about a pair of leaves there in the foreground of the image. Yeah, sure. I got that completely ready for you. Already have one stashed.
about the request. Uh, let me think. Where the fuck is he again? Here he is. Turtwig! See if I did this EV thing correct. I hope you did. Yep, SPL. Good. Okay, that's the only quest that got added just now. Look at my shiny, my one and only shiny Repidash. Okay, Gastrodon swap for... If I remember where my uh, Rhyhorn is. Here it is. Uh, we're gonna swap Scissor for... I don't know. Sligu? Sure. Miss Dreve is the hairstyle muse. Got that. Got that ready. Don't have that one yet. I still need to finish this one. I completely forgot about this one. Combi from a Palm Hill. Here it is. Just have my little bit of sample. Not too heavy on the sweetness, just honey, plain and simple, and good enough to serve as a special treat on its own. This one definitely tastes different from the Grueling Grove honey. I'll make sure to memorize the flavor. Alright, here's the last one. Could you bring me a combi from Ramanos Island? Ramanos Island? I don't think we've been there yet. Romanos. Well. Miss Dreavers. No, people are afraid of Miss Dreavers because of how Apparently whales at night, but getting a good look at it like this really gives me some fresh perspectives. Look how it billows and sways and flows. Wait, that's it? That'll do? Wow, I just thought up some charming hairstyles. And then chanting new palette of colors. Okay, seems like a plan. Let's go uh, test uh, out those hair colors. Grab yourself a seat. Okay, show me. Braids is still the same. Rolled. <laughs> nice! Sideswept. Oh, hell yeah! That is uh, the galaxy grunt thing. Let's go with Fancy. That looks absolutely great. Tight back. Now I look like Trunks. Let's go with Fancy. That one is perfect. Okay, let's see if they... Uh, Clementine. <gasps> they got the 
revenge! Finally, you just have to do fucking 500 quests before you can get it. Heck yeah. Orange is back, boys. Yeah. Nice. We're going with fancy hairstyle. All gone, all put back. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> Perfect. Couldn't have done it better myself. Taste of honey, airy apparitions at night. Still got a lot of wisps to find. Gonna strain the coastland, artillery. The fairy moonlit dance. And nose pass to guide the way. Okay. Also, not here. I'm back and I had to empty a voicemail thingy. I see. Welcome back, Lizzie. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Two more stars left to go and we're maxed. At least I think. Eight star. You can now use jet balls. Crafting recipe for full restores. Welcome back, Sap. No more stars for you. Look, guys, well, now we got the actual orange hair. And we got the 70s uh, rockstar hair. Oh, if it's the Servi Corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Isles, has Choi sent you to do negotiations for him again? Do your hair like that, IRL? I can't, though. I don't have the amount of gel and hair power. Plus, my hair is gonna get very itchy. <clears throat> Grow it! No. Well, at least my hair has, like... Five to six more weeks left to grow, then I'm gonna cut it again. Look, the little Propex wondering why this old man gets so stubborn over selling the shopkeeper a few things. Maybe I'll tell you if you bring me three hunks of crunchy salt. Well, what I asked for already, no less than I expected of you. Wish I could persuade you to join my corpse. Now then, would you let me have the three hunks of crunchy salt? Ah, crunchy salt, the Cornet Highlands' finest feature. If you see it in the wild, don't pass it over as if it were just another rock. This translucent mineral is great for making a potent Pokemon lure. 
You've got to break it up with a hammer, then get the chunks in a mortar and crunch them up right, grind them into powder, mix the powder with another ingredient and pack it with a mix together. You'll get a crunchy cake that Pokemon love to munch on. Well, I can't send you back to Choi a failure, since you so kindly brought me the crunchy salt. Tell him I'll set him up with some new wares. Uh, I forgot, you wanted to know what happened between me and Choi. Well, that whelp made off with my dearest treasure. I'll never let him live it down. Your dearest treasure? What, your daughter or something? Ever happened to calling Sep bro? Oh, that never went away. I always say Sep bro. No, nah, not always. I say it a lot though. Sep is always Sep bro. Just nobody decides to do it anymore. Sep is always Sepilar. No, Zillar. Sep is not Seplar always. Sep is Sepro. Help me, Sepro. I'm stuck. <laughs> you stole his treasure? I said I took his treasure, did he? That's one way to put it, but the story's not so simple. Please believe me for now that it's nothing you ought to worry about. Given what a fine customer you are, I imagine I'll end up giving you the full story at some point. In any case, we've got some excellent new items on our shelves. Do buy some. I am known by many names. Ooh, that's nice. I can now actually buy leaden balls if I want to. <laughs> Peppy Lar. God damn it. Sep Poppy. <laughs> what are these names? What are these names? Back where I came from, Clefairy would come out and dance on nights with full moon. I've heard there are Clefairy and Hisui, and so I wondered if they dance here too. I heard you can find Clefairy at Fabled Spring. Could you go and find out if Clara Fairy dance in the Hisui region? Hmm. I guess I gotta go that way then. The best names start with Sep. And end with anything you can imagine. <laughs> so Warden Melly believes that the frenzies of these Pokémon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question, why ever would this Almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? If it ang is it angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokémon? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokémon. And what is that space-time rift, anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm... But you must be tired. Go on, then. To the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Can we not have meat mochi or something instead of the stupid potato mochi the entire time? Getting kind of sick of it. <laughs> Dinner on Commodo tonight, eat your fill. What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow from more stable. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less less onerous, or at least less dangerous task. 
It's almost like fairy tale, isn't it? How you've fallen to us from the sky and got to help the people of Hisoi so much. Indeed, taking on such a perilous duties, such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Jordi. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Jordi. And the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter one with where you came from. You're a part of the Survey Corps and Jubilee Village now. The next day. Isn't it nice getting up early? Adamon! Is it? It's not as if getting up early changed what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities such as responding to Commander Komodo's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got the same invitation and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over... Much over nice little early wake up. Pichu outbreak! Nice. I'm sure we all can guess what the commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall's quite close anyway. At least they're not trying to kill each other this time. You now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. Wasn't easy. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisoi, I feared what would become of us, but here we are already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. Your mission is to quell Avalug, the final lord, and prepare perhaps in doing so we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avalug may be the Pearl's noble, but my clan and the galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. And let us meet in the cold reaches of the Abalester Icelands. Until then. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokémon you make, well, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many people as many as possible, and to do that you must prove yourself through your actions. Yeah! Abra, teleport this warp outside at once! <laughs> she doesn't like insects. Cool. Ahem. So you're to survey Alabaster Iceland next. This is most treacherous climb you'll face in all Hisui. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. Let's have a look. Three quests over here. No new quests in the actual base. Okay, so we're most likely going to run into a lot of ice types. If I have to guess. 
Okay, you, punk, please tell me we do not have a lot of recipes that are ex Okay, not a lot of recipes, but they are expensive. Never, never, you whelp! Oh, dear customer, I'm so sorry you had to see that. I asked Tao Huo to supply me with some new goods, but he simply won't do business with me. Truly hate to keep on posing like this, but would you please try to make him see reason? You'd do well to bring him a token of goodwill. Perhaps some sand radishes. Three ought to do. New wares yet again. Hmm, no, that's not right either. It needs this extra special something, but what? Oh, nice timing as always. Could use your help again coming up with some new hairstyles. I've hit another wall here. Now, I bet I could get inspiration from a different Pokemon. Yeah, cutie Leah. I already got that one right for you. I got Kirillas all over the place. You know, they say Kirilla just loves to dance. I kind of get it. That feeling when your hair sways around you while you're dancing, it's the best. Actually, yeah, that sort of hairstyle is style I want to go for. Now, how to gather up the hair the right way and where to let it flow. Let me see what the new hairstyles are. Don't need to look at the colors anymore, we just need to look at the styles. Grab yourself a seat. Okay, this is the first. Messy ponytail, tied back, scorn. Middle part, side part, modern bowl, side swept, fancy, top knot. What the frick is this? A modern short. Okay, yeah, we're... We're going with fancy. Just the way we like it. Okay, what do you want? Colors. Me one of each. I should have one of each. In my bag, though. In my uh, thing, bag, whatever. Move. 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 Blue shard, green shards. Request 70, colorful, new look. Let me go have a look at what new outfits they have. Festival mask. Bowler hat. Ugh. Warm cap. Handkerchief. And a headband. Okay. Festival top. Snow jacket. Fancy kimono. Patterned kimono. G 
Jesus Christ. Pokemon Kimono. Dressed like Melly, fuck no. Tailored suit. Karate Gi. Is that all? Jesus, what are the outfits disappointing? Split toe boots. Get us on dolls. Off, um... Oh, hey, great timing. We're done gathering the harvest. Adamant mint, mild mint. Rash Mint. It's covered in leaves, not a rock. I'm telling you, Burmy is Pokemon with a cloak made of leaves. No, Burmy cloaks are made of minerals like sand and rock. I'm quite sure of it. Ha! <laughs> If it ain't covered in trash, it ain't Burmy. This conversation is getting us nowhere. Are you both sure you've actually seen a Burmy before? It wasn't some other Pokemon. Might ask you the same thing. I've seen Burmy in here in Hisui, and I've seen him back in my own region too. And guess what? They're all covered in trash. Oh my, you must have gotten confused somehow, my dear. Please, both of you. We're just repeating the same argument over and over at this point. Hey, you're from the Survey Corps, aren't you? You could figure out uh, which of us is right pretty quick if someone bottles an actual Burmy. Catch one and come show us. Would you? Which is the real Burmy? Catch a Burmy to show. Okay, which Burmy shall we show off? I have a leave one. Oh, the other ones I ditched, most likely. So I only have a leave one. Yep, this is a Burmy, all right. Similar, dear. I'll grant you that, but this must be a different species. Yeah, I ain't buying it. This ain't a Burmy. If the real deal can't convince these two, I guess we'll need to look at the fake Burmy, too. Just both the so-called Burmy that my companions here are talking about. Sure. <laughs> Lizzie be like. Which one should I show off? Only has one. Yeah. Typical Yordi. Typical me. So we make for Alabaster Icelands. That's right. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of other nobles. There seems little choice but to intervene. This Avalon out in the Alabaster Iceland hasn't harmed a soul, as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalon's as great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokémon's help, they occur perfectly well on their own, you know? I confess I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far. If we send Jordi out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. But if the Lord is suffering in its frenzies like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, of, or if this all connects somehow to the space-time rift. 
What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from our quelling the nobles, or indeed from surveying any of the Pokémon of this land? What is it he hopes to achieve? Way to coexist? I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to build a future where everyone gets along with Pokémon. Professor Leviton? Ah, nothing to bother yourself about. Doubtless, I am just being s a silly sausage. You got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Jordy? Then we will support you in it. The best support I can offer you now is going on... Is going... Is another chance to practice your battle skills. I'm gonna win. I'm glad just to get the opportunity to battle you. The fact that I've been able to grow so much, serve your corps member and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. Hey. How you doing? Hey, Bobo. How you doing? Akari sends out Mr. Mime. How's your day been, Bobo? Run away, Bubo is back! <laughs> Staravia, Brave Bird. That's a nice chunk of damage there, uh, friend. He's gonna spank him. G fucking G Yordi, you read Bubo correctly. Not special, just watched Gordon Ramsay yell at people in Hell's Kitchen. Like he always does. Also, Lizzie, don't tease me about how I read that. Reading is hard. You know? Can't get Darkrai yet, feels sad. But I can't get Shaman soon. There's something so natural about the sight of you and your Pokemon fighting together. Oh, it just made me giggle. Giggle! About your mission in the Icelands, well, it will be a challenge, be careful out there. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Icelands forthwith. See you there, my boy. As you said, it's... How I wanted you to. Lizzie, you're confusing me. See if there are any new quests here. Just lost boobs, and I can't blame her for that. I mean, I don't think anyone can technically blame her for liking boobs. Oops, are just that great. <laughs> I mean, I like mine, says Lizzie. <laughs> Togepi? In Coastlands, Togepi uh, wave. Fucking hell, sick tits. Okay, where is it? Over here.
So, three hours in and only three calls. Nice. And also, also if I was myself, probably. <laughs> Please do not kill my Rhyhorn. Go into the ball. Thanks. Okay. Activate. There they are, the token piece. Stealth spray wore off. <laughs> God damn it, I can't catch that one. Pokemon report seems to be gone, sad face. Dig for treasure! Hmm. It's not very treasury. Holy shit. Shiny Star Raptor. Gravla. My horsepower. Stupid Alpha, piss off. Yes, mistress, I'm a pervert. Because Bobo likes breaking things. <laughs> Okay, uh, not here.
pervert. Nice, Ilar. Gotta watch out for the Machoke. Ah. We're heading in the right direction. find where the girl is hiding. Okay, so probably on the island or something? Okay. Um. <laughs> Grab this. Go into the smoke. Ah, I found her. Go into the smoke. Hmm. F. Okay, good to know that you do not like honey. Yeah, we got an Octillery! Still need to work that thing out anyways. Alpha Specimen Octillery. Firestone. I am the chosen one! The distortion spawned almost immediately after I got to the final area. Sick. Jealous. I'm gonna go to the final area in a bit. I just need to catch one more Burmine. And, uh... Something, something. At least I started on my track for the Octillery shenanigans. Gudra. Oh, this Gudra looks so sad. Gudra, why are you so sad? Sludge Bomb, Hydro Bomb, Shelter, Iron Head. I have yet to see a distortion myself, sadly. Oh, Yordi, you came to find me? I got the old heave-ho from this Machopsy and splash, it was into the sea for me. Then I couldn't swim back to the shore on my own, so I was just stranded. So, um, please, can you help me get back home? No problem. Thanks a million for your help, Yordi. I'll pay you back somehow. My oh my, that Basque Legion sure is something. It zips right through the water, even with the weight of a person or two on its back. Amazing. Do 
Let me grab the satchel that is here somewhere. Ooh, also this one. Always grab the orange ones, you never have enough. You defeated Geo, dude. Dude, Geo, dude. Ah, oh, here's the satchel. Send Pokemon. Oh yeah, I went to go check on the... Uh, what's it called again? There was a wave of Togepis. Return to the village! At least they didn't aggro on me, so they were uh, easier to catch other than they were running away the entire time. Togapi! How nice. Lizzie likes my kitchen, guys. Applause for Lizzie. Applause. Look at my alpha Arnivine there. Okay, where to next? Magikarp. Outbreak, but I don't want to go there. <laughs> I need to go to the Crimson Mirelands for another. Burmy encounter. Hey, look at the Badoo. It's an Alpha Badoo. <laughs> now, that is something that I never have issues with. Sush, did you know that up here is the Alpha Raichu? Oh. And Growlithe? Where is Growlithe? Zillar. Just caught one from Distortion. Oh. Nice, though. Hmm. 
But Ponyta is great. La da da na 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 Het is een nacht die je normaal alleen in film ziet La da da na 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 Da na 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 I thought that was a Pichu but I'm blind as fuck In the night, believe it gets media. Oh, 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 nice, all for Paris. Where are all the fucking Burmese trees when you need one? Normally you don't need Burmese, and when you need one you can't find them. So typical. La da da na 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 Oh, you can't get mints at some point, uh, Dozilar. Oh, you were talking about your Polonita. Mine doesn't have a great nature either. I don't really give a fuck, honestly. Ooh, Alpha Ghastly, Alpha Ghastly, Alpha Ghastly. We find, finally find... The true... Ghastly Almighty. Ik ben slechts met woorden. De film is een scène gezet. Maar deze nacht met jou. Is leven zegt. I need to find my sixth member, but I have no idea where they live. Nice, we actually call an Ulfa Ghastly. Also, tree. Oh, fucking Pachirisu, seriously? Yeah, but I already have an Alpha Pachu. Lol. <sighs> Alpha Hunter. The villain is in Sandy Gazette. Marde is in Nacht met Yao. He's leaving Zicht. I don't know why I have always have this song in my head.
a certain point the game really loves like boosting your alpha spawn rate, mate. Finally, a shaking tree. I'm gonna lull so hard if this is a Churim. Ah, oh, no, there it is. <laughs> My Burmy. The Burmy that I needed. All night long. Okay. already being targeted for no reason again. Always the same flippos. Okay. Oh, crack! Where's my Gengar? Oh, here. Three more Pokemon's caught! <laughs> Of which two were all fast. Oh, nice. Twenty points. Turn to the village. To the village we must go! To the village we must go! Okay. Any... no? Okay. Those outbreaks don't last very long, do they? Kind of shame. Yeah, this is the trash covered one, right? Now that's a Burmy, and no mistake. Huh, I don't know about that. Indeed, this Pokemon is no Burmy. These two ain't gonna admit this is the real Burmy. Looks like we just have to line it up with both the fake ones, too. Survey guy, be sport and bring us both the wannabe Burmy as well, would you? Nah, the sand one. Sushi died for the first time? Nice. Both of you, this little one is a real Burmy. It looks pretty similar, but there is no way this is a Burmy. Yeah, gotta agree. Where is it? This, it's trash at, huh? Well, we've seen all each other's supposed real Burmy, but we're no closer to agreeing on anything. 
Nothing else for it. Let's have Professor Lovington decide the Burmy he chooses to put in the real in the Pokedex will be considered the real Burmy. She complete Burmy's Pokedex entry, come back and show I already did, bitch. I just died fucking sneeze a wood grab the wall. <laughs> Sneezler. That's how it is. Seems all our Burmy are indeed well Burmy, all three of them. So you're saying that Pokemon of the same species can come in forms as different as these? How incredible. Guess that means we were all in the right... Looks like we wasted our breath arguing. Jeez, well, I'm sorry. It was so harsh to both of you. No, no, I'm just a just fault. But really, this would have... This whole escapade has taught us a lot about Pokemon. I'm truly glad. Apologize for getting a little heated back there too, but it all turned out well in the end. Why are you all still looking so angry? And sorry for getting you caught in, in this mess. You did a great job cheering. You found your boy? Who? What boy? A Hisuian boy. Oh my god, it's another Pokemon that I don't know. <sighs> yaddy yaddy does he. Don't want to spodal if you haven't been watching trailers. Listen, I don't watch trailers at all. I either go or don't go. That is the one way of the true Yordi. Okay, now let's go do the main quest. Oh, I could go try and hunt for Shiny Standler. Nah, cares. A far-fetched income man! Only your wildest dreams, Sep. Well, this place looks fucking cold. Alabaster Islands. Don't look so insecure, Professor. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few ventured to these Alabaster Islands. Apart from Tao Wao leading the odd Supply Corps excursions to gather materials. But Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. What I gather, Ice Peak area, where you'll find Avalug, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, this mission to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Iridan Adamon to try to keep self safe. You're already brisk out here, isn't it? And yet you are still walking in your shorts and tiny top. How aren't you freezing? Oh. <laughs> He's literally gonna point it out. What the frick? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a diamond clan thing or a pearl clan thing. It's just you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bloodness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not almighty Sinnoh. Yes, yes, believe what you want, just tell us where we have to go. We are headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is? You're talking about that Garrick fellow, right? Fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalug's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice would I have meant when I said we'd be headed somewhere even colder? Where else, indeed? Ready to go, Yordi? I'm born ready. Sure, stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. See you at Avalink's Legacy, Yordi. Take care on your way. Look at her giggling like that. Giggle, giggle.
Well, this map looks rather obnoxious. I can't really make heads or toes from this place. I don't think sending a grass type into this is a good idea. Give a choke. Wow. This place is just cliffs, man! Ooh. No runs. At least the place starts to look a little bit more interesting. Obviously, we're going into the cave. Oops. <laughs> oh, the snow just ran. It was like, I'm not in the mood for this shite. Iron chunks. Really? Bergmite. Start with a kill. You defeated Bergmite. Whiteout Valley. Hey, boom. Ooh. Now, these are one of my favorites, ice types. Swine up, pillow swine, and I always forget the last one's name because I'm a dumbass. Memo swine, hey. <laughs> Do we kill it? Sure, why not? Oh, it actually survives? Nice. Use Blizzard while the CGI is dead. <laughs> okay, not completely. Now, Pillow Swine, be a nice uh, swine and get into the ball. That's what I like to see. Let's 
you up for the city I Snowballs, ice stones. Damn it. There are quite a lot of these fuckers around. Calls them fuckers after t saying that it's probably one of his favorite Pokemon types. You are super excellent, Jordi. Like, seriously top tier in what you say sometimes. This is where we came out of. Ooh. A hole. This is where I need to go, aka that is not where I want to go. Ooh, snow burn. Found an old file bomb snow. Lately, all oh, fuck lately. Oh, you already mon, you already mon, crazy, crazy, you already mon. Is he crazy? Yeah, he is. Is he addicted? Yes, he is. But that is why he's your already mon. Truth. Wow, these are decent level Glalie, actually. Pokemon. Avoid it. Nice. Dang it. Fucking up my pores, Decidueye. Snow, water.
stay hydrated, kids. I am very hydrated. Are you also hydrated, SQ? Nice, good. Okay, I, I think it's time to do the thing. And yes, blink, blink. The jump in the hole that you don't know where it leads thing. We get in the bottle of the bulb, Mr. Evis. Thanks. Say we're fairly camouflaged fairly well. Blue in an ice blue cave. You would barely see me if you didn't notice the red and orange. <laughs> Absol assassin, you smell a nerd? Only one? But this entire stream is filled with nerds. Ooh, what? Ooh, this is our the location where we evolve Eevee into Ice Eevee, I think, isn't it? Into Glacium. Wearing a pure white snow outfit. RP on point! Good job, Sush, good job. I don't like any of the outfits in the game. So I'm just uh, doing what I do best. How do we even get out of here? Oh, uh, with Snee uh, Sneevel, probably. Imagine being a Pokemon fan. Yeah, imagine what life would be like if you were a fan of something. Absol, what the fuck are you bitching? Kill it. It's effort. Is this a new evolution? Oh no, is this? Hunter, piss the fuck off. Pretty fucking please. It's the Zorua! Ow. Sorry, it looked like an Eevee. 
in the distance. So if I remember correctly, the Zorga is a normal type, right? <laughs> On a ghost type. Instead of dark. Ghost normal. That sounds like a very bad combination. Not gonna lie. It's so good! You haven't even used it yet. How do you know it's so good? Is that a fucking alpha snubble? Need snubble. Uh, I can't English. I'm gonna give up on English tonight. Fucker doesn't like it. Why do these bastards not like honey? Good, that's what I like to hear. Swine up. Yeah. Names are hard, guys. Stealth spray wore off. By barrels. Its only weakness is dark. If you say so, Sushi, if you say so, I trust. Hey, Ultima my champ. Now would you look at this beauty? I already got one of those. Hey, Sandra dishes, exactly what I need for a quest. They got a fucking hot spring. Super cool. Licky tongue. Look at these guys chilling in their hold spring. It's a fighting weakness. And normal negates the ghost weakness. And does it actually though? Like ours? Wow, I missed. Okay, so up there is Avalon. Is Avalon spot? Arena's approach. Aye, aye, Captain. My Captain.
Oh, the sclops. Ooh, is that a blissy that I spot? Look, blissy. Kill it. <laughs> Go hand in hand, yo. It's blissy's level fucking 60. Critical hit. Defensive stats are raised. Keeping its guard up. Use double edge. I actually thought for a second it was gonna say it ran away. Wow, it's allowed to move twice? Oh, because I did strong attack. Never mind. You defeated Blissey. It dropped an oval stone. It fucking gave me <laughs> 6k experience points. Bleh. Alpha Rhyhorn into... Now we just need to turn it into Rhyperior once we get base again. Oh, I forgot that I still have disc loops on my ass. Done. What? Well, there's another hole in the ground. I'll jump in this hole next. First, let's explore the rest of this area. There's still an entire wall here I can climb over. Snubble, not snubble, swine up, hehe. <laughs> Seriously, one of these days. Gonna have to reteach my entire brain how to do things. The fuck is a gibble doing on this mountain? You know what? I have still haven't caught a freaking gibble. Ice Fang. Yikes. Dragon Claw. Is my Gudra gonna die to these pieces? Okay, probably. Yeah. Gudra, you strong style Iron Head! Okay, completely dead. I wish I could turn off Ursaluna. What do you mean, turn off Ursaluna? Sneasler and Windeer. Yeah. I can kind of understand that, but it's not that hard to just press left instead of right on the D-pad. Then you'll just uh, go to Windeer and once you reach a cliff, you open... Uh, you press A to climb it automatically. Something like that. 
Oh, here's the Alpha Garchomp. And I'm not gonna do that right now, but Alpha Garchomp is a fucking beast. I want that in my life. High school crash. Yeah, sure, kill my wine deer. <sighs> okay, you know what? You have. How many Pokemons do I have left alive? We got Sepiki and Luxray and Rhydon. You need to think of a cool name for Luxray. Avalanche Slope. Snowballs, mud balls. I like Sneedler. Alpha licked the bus. I think that's just a random though. Riolu! Yo, choco milk. Yeah, I know. Give me a sec. <laughs> I'm too busy exploring. <laughs> the fuck is this? Can I climb this? I can. This is just some frozen over waterfall or something. I've caught so many Zordua. <laughs> Why you caught so many Zordua? Oh, look at the flying crowbat there. The dick hole. Going for an alpha. So you're just catching them if it's not a alpha one that spawns? The mad lad. Yeah, filling out the Pokedex page. I'm telling you, Sushi will get for poker at Monk Room. I wouldn't be surprised if he did, honestly. His Riolu is 49, by the way. He's gonna fucking demolish my... Uh... Right on. Crap, I missed. Oh, thank god I can go again. Two of my team are already alpha. <laughs> Sushi, don't make me say it. Only two? 
Only two sushi? I'm just kidding. There, another cave. Ravioli, ravioli. Komi, kokidori. I think uh, segment with ravioli. Riolu. Just a guess. Raviolu. <laughs> Rom bom de rim bovin tiddy 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 Okay, uh, we're going back to camp. Because I uh, am losing Pokemon too fast. And I'm running out of Pokeballs. Well, only 52. I really need more iron chunks. Did I sit down to sleep yet? Yeah. Need to catch 14 more, then I can start the slaughter. Damn, son. How many did you need to catch? In total? Wait, I can look at that myself, right? Twenty-five. But you didn't catch them at night! At least I bet you didn't. I did indeed catch them at night. Oh, this man is so fucking smart. Sushi thinks of everything.
I think it was day for me when the one that one spawned. At least I think. I could be talking full bullcrap like always. See, it's day. Mr. Evis is here. Oh, I found. Uh... <laughs> Alpha, whatever her name was, Frost Lass, Vince's favorite ghost type. You want me to catch it? For fuck's sake. <sighs> okay, let's go catch it. This one is Lizzie. <laughs> Did not come for me, Lizzie. Apparently you're as scary as a ghost. Let's see, do you like... honey cakes? He likes honey cakes! Crap. Oh! Easy capture! I've been farming them at night because fitting. Yeah, no, makes sense. <laughs> What's wrong with bull crap? Bull needs to crap too. <laughs> That's not what I meant. SQ. Let me actually get the chocolate milk before I really forget and take my medication. <laughs> Can build a endless To Lizzie Hungry, okay. <sighs> There's not much I need to do uh, here anyway, so we might as well warp. And instantly change the name from the Frost Lass. Where's my Ulf? F. Ulfa Swine, by the way. I'm gonna really need to start releasing Pokemon soon. Change name. I don't know why, but I really got a thing for Ghost-type Pokémon. I like those Ghost-types. You haven't actually taken any damage, so I don't think we need to worry. Still haven't found the Cubone.
Yeah, I need to re-level Almighty again. Because I, um... Call an Alpha Ghastly. And I was like, oh... Now this is the true one. Yep. I came to set up another base camp, but I don't spy Craig from the construction corps. I told him to meet me near the base of the falls here in Elbester Iceland, so where is he? He's not the type to usually get lost, so I'm honestly a bit worried. Do me a favor, would you find Craig for me? Sure. Oh, this place also has... The guys. Secret Hollow. So much closer to Zoroa. Is this where you're trying to catch Zoroa the entire time? In that cave under the ice. Oh, that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, one would be easier for you to find or to come from. Because you don't have to climb. This Sneasel just fucking cocked my ass like it was nothing. Alpha Sneasel? Two idiots running past each other. Ugh, warm a diamond. And chocolate, just not every day. He just hit me with with ominous wind. I'm getting way too cocked.
Ba buzz. I do I keep getting distracted from the things that I was doing? Because Yordi is not very smart! Hey, there's an encampment here. Through the fire and flames. Quest here? No quest here. This is the Pearl Camp. Sushi question. Are you a pearl guy or diamond guy? Oh, look at them. Pearl boyo, that's all smarts overrated. Okay, sushi is a pearl boyo. Good to know, good to know. I just ran past iron chunks. So stupid. Mm, it's so cold as Kipchu snot out here. How do these Pearl Clan people stand it? Boy, do I owe you finding Craig for me. Now we can finally set things up. And here you have it, our new base camp stop by anytime. Goodness, I don't know how Pokemon living in this frigid place find the energy to dash about as they do. They have a nice layer of insulating fat, perhaps? There must be a trick to it. Yeah, they got a nice layer of... Screw you. I want to see if there spawns anything in that cave when it gets dark. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes, cause I can't take it, I can't keep my clothes on. Oh, they have another quest for me. What a bunch of buttholes. Nothing. That is kind of a shame. Okay, so what is the second quest you have for me, Verand? Bryce. It's so cold, I can't feel my fingers. I can't work like this. I just want to earn my way up through the ranks. But to do that, I've got to at least warm myself up to feel my fingers. Do you think you could bring me a Pokemon that's good at manipulating flames? Then it could keep our fire roaring for me. Search for a fiery Pokemon should be easy enough. Yeah, I'll give you this shitty level 3 Ponyta. Already feeling much warmer thanks to this Pokemon of yours, now I can focus on my work. Though, now that I'm so warm and comfortable, I seem to oh, find my eyelids drooping. 
Just the... Uh... Ah, oh, no, 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 I wasn't sleeping, I swear. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Hey, where did you put my Pokemon, you dipshit? Hey, I got a Razor Claw. I mean, uh, I did not get a Razor Claw. Sushi, you don't have to be jealous. <laughs> hey, Lizzie. Lizzie, we named the Pokemon after you. Frostlass. An Alpha Frostlass. At least I'm an alpha. Yeah, at least you're an alpha. So she found Rufflet already? Damn. It's ghost scary type. Scary ghost type. Ooh, rufflet. Alpha Chimchow. Oh, oops. Chingling is keeping his. Okay, then just run away. It's fine. Me Chimchow. Chimeco. My English is so bad. My English is so bad, so bad, so bad. It's more that you don't remember the names correct. Has nothing to do with your English, you just fucking suck. Now get it in your head. And please stop sucking. Nothing. I'm just making up songs, like I always do. <laughs> well, Rufflet just uses double edge on my fucking Decidueye. But you're talking shit about Yordi, I don't support it. I'm talking shit about myself, you should support it. Stop picking on my friends! Look at all the Kadabras here. Fucking hell. Okay, that's not cool. Hmm. 
Not cool that these Kadabra are chasing my ass around. Bronzor, Bronzon. Rufflet. Can't go in there yet, I guess. Don't know what this place is anyways. Big on top of a hill. Geronimo! That place looks like the Netherlands. <laughs> How does that place look like the Netherlands, Lizzie? Come on. <sighs> Okay. It screams he already lives here. Oh, if only my place was as awesome looking as that. Here, Lizzie. This is a frost lass. I can't remember where I put it. Here, this one. This is Lizzie Hungry. Cold. But I wouldn't exactly say that I would be a fan of, like, this frigid cold. You should put hangry. Yes, Sap, you fucked up. You should put hangry. Warny and angry. We do, too, but not as much anymore. Um screwing up Lizzie's name like that. <laughs> I know it means hungry and angry. At least that's what it should be. Yeah, but you wanted it to be for Lizzie, so... You gotta do it right. Or not do it at all. Sush. Time to buy. Oh, there are rufflets here as well. Probably easier here to catch.
Sand radish. That's where the hole is for the Isuian Zorua. Bergmites! There are be two caves you can find him in. Oh, I've only found one so far though. I don't remember where the other cave is at. <laughs> now this guy I like. Look at him. That was real slug fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done us. This gentleman is Avalux Warden and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. Show some respect, Adamant. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I am Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's Wardens. And you must be Yordi, right? Of the Galaxy Team. Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalunk? I was commanded to. He's in a frenzy. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being in frenzied? I don't know. Then I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is your heart? What is it your heart tells you to do? Well, it's frenzy. Our mighty Lord of the Thundra, Avalog, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokémon. Sir, please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalog's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokémon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are. There's certainly some logic to that, but if that is what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get battling! My muscular... musculature is as hard and unyielding as ice. Think he can break through? Is he really doing squats right now? Okay, that's not a really good Pokemon to start off against. I also don't know what this guy's level is. Okay, sure. Damn. Now, talk about fucking messing up my Pokemon, mate. Uh, thinking. None of my Pokemon are really well built for this. Let's get rid of this Frost Less first with a crunch. Place use Ice Shard. Icicle Crash. Wow, this thing's fast. This Glalie. One. One regular.
Outstanding! I'm as tough as an iceberg, but you smash me through and through. I suppose you all can get on with it now. This one's alright. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Yordi, but I'll vouch for him. Then if you insist on quelling Avalok's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of the et that eternal ice he likes and bring it to the Lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need the bravery. Long story short, you've got to seek out a young lady named Sabi. That long story long, you're not saying any time... Saving any time if we waste it puzzling out what you mean. So now have a look one of the Pearl Clans, Lord. Seems a bit odd for me to be talking. But fine, listen up. This eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalanche Legacy here. But there, but to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneasler can climb this surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach by air with bravery as help. Quan's managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalanche Legacy. I'll have you know. He says he'd made it within six feet of the top. Might makes. Might makes right, or at least height. And uh, about Sabi, how do I put this? Even when she's not flying with bravery, she got her heads in the clouds. Well, you'll understand once you meet her, head towards Snowpoint Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Sabi! Oh, there she is. My clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? <sighs> I see what you meant by Sabi, but why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabi and let me focus on my workout while I still can. <laughs> She's not that hard to get to. Hello, my name is Sabi. Nice to meet you, Jordy. Same to you. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. I know where you're here, too. You want Bravery's help so you can quell Avalon's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. Let's go, Braviary! I don't like this. Catch up to Sami. Where the fuck did she go, though? All the way up there? Damn, son. Get out of my fucking way, Bam Snow. Yordi! You made it all the way up here in this cold. The question is, did you catch me or did I let myself get caught? Hmm. Ooh, one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? No idea. Hmm, no one but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop is our merry chase. Of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. The real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you or am I bored? Hmm. Let's go, babe, Braviary. Nice, Siller. 
She just fucking bolts. What a rude little twat. Well, all well ends well. I just need to heal up my Pokemon again. Oi. Sandra Dish. Hi again, Jordy. It's nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety in numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snowpoint Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you or am I bored? Hmm. Let me guess, you want a Pokemon battle? I heard what Warren Asabi said. If you have Warren Asabi's approval to enter, then by all means do so, but be warned. Those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. I've heard that the trick to, is to pay attention to which way the stone statue is looking. Oh good lord, come think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of patterns on their chests too. The question is, am I truly clairvoyant? Oh, there are Pokemon in here. Ooh. Investigate. All that. Oh, I don't like this place, not one bit. Okay, at least these statues seem to be similar. Unga Boonga! Wow, that did no damage whatsoever. Flash cannon. No, neither did that. Investigate. There's faint tr traces of a rock pattern on the statue's chest. Steel pattern on the ch statue's chest. Ice pattern on the statue's chest. Each of these three panels fitting into the door, each panel has a pattern carved into it. There are tra faint traces of words carved into the door as well. Wither the statue's gaze. Which panel will you press first? Uh, first ice. Steel. Rock. Okay, then it's the other way around. Rock, steel. 
ice, rock, steel, ice. Eight wisps remain in this area. Okay, nothing here. Ice. Rock. Steel. Ice, rock, steel, rock. Ice. Okay. Withered statue's gaze. Ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. The three Reggies. Slumbering Lord of the Thundra. Oh, Jesus. This is the old ice. Rock, steel eyes rock. Ice, steel ice rock. Ice, steel rock. I forgot them again. Oh, I need to write this down. Otherwise, I'm not going to remember it. S. E. R. E. Uh, S. R. Steel Ice Rock, I Steel Rock. Steel Ice Rock, Ice Steel Rock. It's not a hard puzzle, you just gotta have brains and remember things. Things I do- ooh, is that a- Hoping that you like honey. Level 70 Glade. Uh, please. Nice! Cotton Alpha Glade. Need to catch him three more times, apparently. Oh. Dare by chance also be a, 
Oh fuck, Guard of War here. Nope. Stealth spray went off. I guess I've been caught. So we're nearly done, that's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something else. I saw you flying with Bravery. You think that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does. Well, however the future turns out, flying with Bravery isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Gonna take us on? Yep. Growth was awesome, truth. Get ready, because here comes Rhyperior, McMortar, and Electriver, all three of them. Go! All three of them at the same time? <sighs> they actually get to move first, I'm fucking bones. Okay, let me think. Um, I think we're starting with Sap Puppy. I'm going after the Electriver. Sure, start with Agile, high horsepower. You yeah, asshole. Let me see if the difference are... If there's any difference in level. Yeah, mate, I haven't even started yet. I haven't even been able to move. These guys are fucking destroying me. Uh, Shadow Ball is probably just my best bet if I get to move. Kill it. Like try out. These guys just went four turns in a row. It's fucking insane. Uh, okay, next is Luxor. Yeah, Luxor A. No, probably not a good idea. One high horsepower, and yeah. And Luxor is dead. Uh. I'm gonna, th if he just did that, so I'm gonna throw in my Rhyperior right now and get rid of his fucking Magmortar. I should be going first here. Okay, thanks. Uh, you. Okay. All that left is the Rhyperior now. And the Rhyperior I should be able to handle. with Gudra Iron Head yeah Iron Head Hydro Pump has a chance to miss which we don't like to see plus I get to go f twice in a row which is fairly nice so we hit once and then we go into strong style second hit Qsirian Gudra looks kind of funky, though. Whoa, you caught us and you beat us. You've won all our games so far. Bravery still wants to get to know you even better. Up to the roof we go. Kind of sick up here, mate. Ooh, there's more. Good job, Gudra. I haven't even up you guys your efforts points yet, and you guys are doing so well, sort of. This 
place looks kind of dope. Grok, Grok. All right, Braviary. Why not test out your strength for yourself? Oh, really? <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> Let me see. You're psychic, right? He's psychic type, I think. Start with Sludge Bomb, see what happens. Poisoned, that's what we like to see. Agile style, Brave Bird. Okay, it's a good thing that I'm Steel type. Hurt by the poison. Finish it with an iron head. Urgh, I can't believe Bravaria lost, but that's that. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll head home now. Bye. Hey. I was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. Reviary opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You received the spy... Spy... Spy guys? Spy... Spy plate! Spa... Sky... Like in the air... Okay, good. Thanks, Jordi. Good job. Thanks, Sabi. Sure, having you already to fly around with should be fun for Bravery. Yeah, I'm glad. A world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes from the rift would cause these frenzies? Do you think this is all Almighty Snow's anger? Or do you think this is a trial it's putting to us? If it's a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy and we call the last noble, call him Avalug, then the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who've been living here in Hisui for ages now. How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adaman. Oh, Sabi. I can feel... Shit, I was a bit too fast with pressing the button. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you, someday I might get to meet the Almighty Sinnoh myself. The question is, does listening to Adaman fascinate you or bore you to tears? Hmm. Anyway, Yordi, it's time for you to go soar with Bravery. If you jump up, jump from way up here, Bravery can take you gliding just about anywhere. Don't forget to get the Eternal Ice. That's why you need Bravery in the first place, right? Avalux Legacy is down there. Now go get a feel for flying with Braviary. When you're done soaring in the skies and you want to land, just ask him to dive. <clears throat> with Braviary, you can fly high up into the sky and explore the different areas of Husoi from the air. You can now summon Braviary by using the plus button whenever you may be. And you can also press the A button if you're falling from some height to summon him in a flash. Oh, that sounds like fun. We gotta do this right, guys. Aliandro! <laughs> this looks fucking fantastic, by the way. 
there's another hole there. And a hole there. And that is the hole... That is the hole I came out of, I think, then. Then that hole must be... The one I didn't go into yet. Okay. Your arc phone is beeping. You obtained a piece of eternal ice. A type of ice beloved by the Lord of the Thunder, Avalon. This ice is said to be fr fragments of ancient Avalog long ago. He actually made it to the top. At last, the summit is conquered. And I see you made it too. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? As long as you don't punch me in the dick again. Who gave Garrick the eternal ice? I do have to respect the effort you put in. I may still have my doubts about waiting on my mind. My own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord, Evelung. Meet me at Ice Peak area. Now, don't try to repeat this the wonderf wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Till next we meet! Listen, even your nicely toned body should not be able to perform this leap without dying. Or at least breaking 500 bones in your body. Let's see what my Pokemon... <clears throat> Thinking of who I'm gonna bring. I think we're just gonna go with this team. We can't go higher than this, can we? Let's go dive down here real quick. It is currently night, so... Might as well capture... Oh, this is a very nice spot to hunt, Zora, indeed. Oh. Okay, so I realize that flying is great and all, but you would still be best to, like, fly from high. If you just want to explore, because otherwise you're not going to be able to reach everything. She only gets, like, pushed up this far. It's good to know. Why, if it isn't Jordy, what a pleasure finding a similar f familiar face, or any face, in this far corner of the Alabaster Islands. I came to bring Glacier an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalug. 
What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? Absolutely. And why wouldn't you be? So have a look, yes, the fifth of the Hisui nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires a massive icicles, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Does that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently Avalog of old could be up to a hundred feet tall. Does that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be all right. You just have to eat some sword caps, then give your give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onwards now to the arena. Mm, yes, well, I did want to see Avalog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. <laughs> Follow is an uh, interesting character. To say the least. There's definitely more to him than meets the eye. Not sure if I can appreciate that though. Let's just start with the city eye. Have a look, it's not that fast, right? So, we are to quell Avalok as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way you walk among both people and Pokémon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using that eternal ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll only be a moment's work. I like this guy. He's just a slim and fit version of... Uh, Generation 6 uh, Ice Gym Leader. If you truly wish to quell Avalon, then walk on. The path lies before you, but know that Avalon will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You need, you need unrivaled dodging abilities. I'm going. It's now or never. Death. Or despair. See this intro. <laughs> Holy fucking hex, man! Lord of the Tundra, Avalon. Can I? No, I can't. Um... Oh, shit. <laughs> Crap! Okay, I'm gonna die here very hard. I can't pay attention. Here's your chance to show Avalon your power! Yeah, let's just, uh... 56. Do we go triple? No, we just go triple on normal. Wow, the damage is absolutely trash! The city Y is getting pumped. Mountain Gale. Oh my lord. The city Y is fucked. Uh... I guess Gudra goes in with a super effective Iron Head. It's also weak against Hydro Pump, apparently. Okay, good job, Gudra.
Okay. Ice spikes. Oh crap. That turn is different again. Okay, that really sucks. I got my first death against Avalon. <sighs> Battling Avalon. While Avalon's barrage of attacks is ongoing, concentrate on dodging and wait for your mo chance to strike back. The powerful beam that Avalon launches with its maw can be evaded with Y if you use the brief moment of wind. <laughs> Restart battle. Continue battle? What's the difference? Carry over some of the progress you made on depleting this Pokemon's Frenzy Gauge. Would you like to keep your previous progress or receive the gauge? Keep previous gauge. I don't fucking care. As long as we win, right? That is a good question, uh, Zillar. Still got hit, that sucks. Okay, I think this is just a run circles barrage out crap. I comes with laser. Oh my decidio eyes serve his back. Okay, I'm most likely gonna go KO anyway, so might as well just hit with strong style. Fence down. style. I would recommend checking at its uh, base stats. Zillar. You'll figure out what to do afterwards, most likely. Okay, got him. What is the typing on Avalon in this game? Avalog. Um. Oh, that's the wrong one. Got the icicle plate. Bergmite. Catching the ice type level of Bergmite until you reach level 37. Once you reach the specific level. Okay, 37. You can evolve into a Suyan. It's easy. Ice and rock type. Instead of pure ice. Okay. Garrick, sir, you need to look quite so downcast. Um, Yi, Suyan, Umi. 
Gumi. Gumi is still the same. We want Legends Arceus Gumi. And then... Gudra stats we want. Gudra is mostly special defensive and then special attack. So technically you want attack down or defense down. Now you probably want speed down. His speed is the lowest of everything. So either go for a tanky special defender or put defense plus or go for a special attack up. It says here Sassy's best nature for min speed and plus special defense. So that. Eric, sorry, you needn't look so quite downcast. But seeing mighty Avalon quelled and by such a slight child. Child that fell from the very sky. Is this your boy some kind of monster in disguise? He's no monster. He's the one who risked his life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Yordi, Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in the Almighty Snow just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Yorda? I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Yordi has much to teach us. He's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife as long as our Pokémon are with us. He made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull it off, Yordi. You quelled every last frenzied noble. So is that the space-time rift going to start closing up now, or what? There's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spinning out more of uh, that strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got Yordi. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have him at our side. You know something, Irida? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but your pro clan folk aren't all bad in my book. <laughs> well, look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've called the last noble, I say we pay grim old commander Kama Kamado a visit and see if he finally cracks a smile for us. Evil nature. <laughs> Evil nature. <laughs> Gligar. Blissey does always spawn here. Wonder if I should go kill it a few times. <laughs> Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, no! It's Yordi! What? Oh, quests. Okay. I tell you, there's no better way to stave off the cold than run across a burst of balloons. Yeah, sure. Thirty, at least. Fifty balloons on the course.
Thick. No. No. Way. Great. <sighs> this one is rough. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, okay. End the run. <laughs> Try again. At least now I know that I need to press A and not fucking start. I can do this. You already can do this. Right, guys? I got this. Wait, what the fuck? Why am I going down? Where the fuck to now? Where are the bloody balloons? I can't see any balloons. What the fuck? There's, he said there were 50. Hey, Mamoswine. I cannot find any more balloons. What the fuck is this bullshit? Oh my god, what are they doing all the way over there? <sighs> At least I got an Ultra Ball. It's not good enough though. Crap. Okay, so if I speed up during this, I lose altitudes. That's super great to know.
Come on, land. Oh, Braviary, what the fuck are you doing, buddy? Okay, so some... Are you kidding me? Do you see how far away these are? Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, as long as I reach 30, it's fine. No wonder I didn't see it. Slap Yordi for me. If you do that in return, when you come kidnap me, I'll be quiet. Come quiet. If I ever just approach you, you will quietly accept kidnapping. <laughs> this one sucked. All the ass. Did I ever heal all my Pokemon? Yeah, good. That was absolute horse shite. <laughs> hey, you're a member of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps, right? I've heard you're studying Pokemon and making some kind of book about them. Does that mean you are all studying my beloved Bergmite? Of course. I could allow that. That means you'll know more about Bergmite than I do, right? I'm absolutely convinced that nobody loves or understands Bergmite more than I do. She completed its entry book and you must show it to me. As Bergmite's number one fan, I'll make sure you haven't missed any detail. Okay, crazy lady. Bergmite. Probably gotta deal a few more times with it anyways. What well, everyone likes me, no one loves me. That's the trade off my deal with Lepra you already I took for my soul. Wait, you actually think you got something for from the soul trade? Oh Sep. Oh Sep bro. How disappointed you must be. <laughs> Naive Sep. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you again? <laughs> oh, silly, silly Zeppelin. Hey, Evie. Level 59 EV. <laughs> he has all the panties, none of the slapping. No, the Blissey ran away, fucking... Okay, so I need to hit it in the back of the head, otherwise it doesn't work. Hmm. Good to know. Oh. Seriously? Maybe pull me fucking cock. Well, 61. If 
there's any meta we should never change in this channel, it's the fact that I steal souls. Or, well, gracefully take them once you watch my videos and things like that. Panty stretch slapping. Panty stretch slapping. Okay, so hide. Shit. Hmm. Okay, didn't run away, that's good. Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Fuck. Am I really gonna throw a honey cake at this guy? Guess we are. Okay, let's try it again. It's just a waste. So much experience points from a Blissey. Can't even kill it. Okay. I'm kind of surprised that Blissey's run away. Uh, maybe I should be more surprised that there are just random Blissey's around. But not this time. Double edge. Yikes. How do I breathe without your smart mouth? You don't. Me, I'm sorry you can breathe with your mouth. Yes, same mouth. You are singing with clever, clever little SQ.
Wait, it didn't reset? Until evening. So that's why the Blissey wasn't there. I was like, Nani. And then nightfall. La da 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 Na 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 Try this again. I'm on the wrong side. Okay, on the back of the head, if I want to be able to land the kill. At least right now. Defensive, getting bumped. Too stunned to move. At least you can run away, Blissey. You defeated Blissey. That's what I wanted to see. Level ups. Again, forgot to grab useless berries that I can throw at the Bergmite. Berries? Yes, berries. Yeah, do you not want another one? Oops. <laughs> that was the wrong one. You already look behind you. It's Seppi. What? I can't. I don't even have to look behind me. I can see in my own webcam that Seppelin is not there. How dare you betray me, SQ. F. Items. Going to Ultra Ball now! So terrorized by me, she sees me everywhere. Sep, leave SQ alone. Stop stalking her. Stop making her hallucinate. Oh wait, it's a ghost type. I can't actually hit him with normal. Looks rain thunder wave it. Seppi the peppy mamalu.
Rude. Item. Ultra Ball. Go! Uh -huh. Cobra Kai win! Call for Bunkai! Ha 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 ha! Ah uh, no, I made you a deal you no take. There was no such thing as deal. Okay, um... Box. Wow, I have three nuggets. Sassy. Okay, I need three of you. And then I need to talk to you. 45 Pokemon cards, yep. Thirty two K. Gibble is not done yet, but we expected that. X ray, Hunter, Rydom, Bergmite, Swine Up. Bergmite is done, that's what I needed. Soria is not done yet, but it's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. 1k, 300, 1.4. Damn. No, I didn't want to go back. Okay. No quests over here. Good for me. What are you selling? Ultra Ball said, gimme. Give gimme. Give oh, only 20? Weak. You're already highly disappointed. I forgot I finished you. Warren, I made it back home safe again. I really can't thank you enough. I knew I wouldn't be wrong to ask you again. You're still as good as everyone says you are. And Ursha Luna is amazing too. Not many can track a scent even across a river, so in seas. If I could ever learn to live with Pokemon myself, a Pokemon like Ursa Luna sure would be nice. Yeah, Pokemon that's great at finding things. Hey, we got a star piece. How nice. New requests. At home, under the eaves, Snow White Vulpix in the snow. Mushroom hunting with Snubble, Swine Up. Kayaka, the security corpse fellow from Lola, has several Vulpix, but he calls them K.O. K.O. Track him down and see what his request entails. It seems moral the mushroom hunter needs help in hand or knows. Make use of swine of special skills and find fill his request. Okay. Keely Keely. Money! Ah, if it isn't one of our beloved customers, might I trouble you to help me with a little survey work? In my family, we've passed down tales of some ancestor who lived in a village around the avalanche slopes, but I've never been able to find any hint of such settlement ever existing. I'm beginning to doubt the tales are true. But everyone wants to know about where they came from, don't they? So help me out. See if you can find any evidence people ever living around avalanche slopes. I think I can find that, actually, easily. I never checked that one. Ah, Survey Corpse recruits who quelled the Lord of the Hollow. I'm sorry to keep you getting roped into the errands on my account. 
Tell you the truth, I'd be happy to just get my crops, corpse relics out to the shop for free. That mean letting Koi off the hook and that the idea sets my teeth gnashing. Are you bound for the Alabaster Ireland, Iceland soon? Would you mind bringing me back three sand radishes? Already did. Oh, you're back with the veggies. Well done. Gathering them in the harsh climate. Would you let me have three sand radishes? Yes. Ah, sand radishes. The Alabaster Island's finest feature. If you give these bitter roots a nice thorough pickling, it brings out a unique sweetness. Once they are pickled, they make for a lovely crisp and quite well-liked snack. My granddaughter makes a fine pickle, I'll tell you what. Perhaps I'll ask her to give one of these a nice briny soak. Anyway, I'm sorry to have to kept you on using as a go-between between with Choi. I suppose it's time I had a proper conversation with the whelp. Joy joy! Joy joy! Now listen, I'll set you up with some new goods, but as a favor to Yordi, not you. Don't think one second this means I've accepted you, but Tao Wo, sir. Oh, please, Grandpa, I can't believe this is still an issue for you. Huey, how long have you been? What, is our little store not worthy to sell your goods? Talk about letting personal feelings get in the way of your business. If you keep this up, Grandpa, I swear I'll never speak to you again. Uh, why, sweet Huey? You swore you'd never get married and leave your poor gramps. Who in their right mind takes a tiny child's word so seriously? I'm sorry my grandpa has been such a bother to you, Jordy. Hope this doesn't put you off visiting our shop. <laughs> Aww. Now everything makes sense. Funny case, we've got excellent new items on our shelves. Do buy some. This guy never gave me anything in return, did he? I can now just buy these, that is super chill. I can find some sellable shit. Renbasa Subasa Okay, what did you get? Me. Bolt mint. Defense but attack down. Serious. It's attack will grow at a usual pace. That's nice. A calm mint. Special defense will grow, but attack will grow less. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, we're just gonna keep on going with the mints for the time being. You already need a good set of random mints. At home at Eve's. Oh, okay, that's inside there. Great. Dark Might Enthusiast is done. Snow White Vulpix. Where is that? Oh, that's just a new request. Mushroom hunting with snubble. God, dirt. We're fine, we're fine. Everything is fine. Yeah, everything is fine. She lost again, boy. Every time I'm in trouble, you turn up. Just like clockwork. That's right, one does missing again. Please help me find my lost sister. The Coronet Highlands, but she never returned from that trip. But I've got faith. I know you and that Ursaluna will be able to track her down for me. 
Get a whiff of that old handkerchief and see if you can find any trace of her, please. Ah, I wonder should be somewhere up in Coronet Highlands, so please find her. Unbelievable. Now let's go deliver the main quest. The other quests are also all over the place. Boy! Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied and each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. To think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself at the Wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing Pokemon around us. Boy. <sighs> Thanks for this nice, sizable helping of Potato Mochi Benny, old chum. And if there's anything else you'd recommend, by all means, bring it up. Having the nobles all quelled puts a grave threat to rest. Now it's time to focus on our survey work, though we still can let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. Certain, certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling, but it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yes, yeah, someone might have been under attack by some frenzied noble this very moment if Yorty hadn't come falling out of the sky to us. Still wonder though, just what is this time-space rift anyways? And what will make it finally go? Wait, the rifts... If the rift were to vanish, would that leave you already stranded here? I guess so. Our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into it, the matters, and find a solution, I have no doubt. You already snacks, I don't have no snacks. All snacks are gone. It's all... Satisfied. Now then, tomorrow soon, tomorrow soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at the Survey Corps. Don't forget, well, we've got our sights on nothing less than a complete Pokedex. That's right, we'll get it done with Jordi in the lead and me as a valiant assistant. Assistant, come now, Akari, you don't sell yourself short. You're a full fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, thanks for that, Professor. Then I guess I'd better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow. Okay, I am curious what the fuck is gonna happen next now. Bakum! Is that how it sounds? Is it not kaboom? It's not Oh, something happened. Disaster looming. We just got groceries and no snacks. All the snacks are already gone. That's the point. When I go get snacks, it disappears within hours. That's why I don't get snacks. Oh, wow. Jordy. Holy shit. It became even larger than before. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in time space. And the entire sky has gone red. I have word from the commander. You are to report to his office at once. You are to report to his office at once! 
Hmm. The way the sky has changed, it's ominous, very ominous indeed. What is this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait, there's more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy, it struck the night Jordy fell from the sky, did not? only seemed natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who are you? What are you really, Yordi? I don't really know. Indeed. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You are connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies yourself brought about? You gained our trust. What then? What is it that you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Jordy has wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think he's got some sort of fearsome power to take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he is who he says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? That's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Yordi supposed to do then? He will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster. But not as a member of Galaxy Team, he remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in Galaxy Team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and prove your innocent beyond doubt. Is that clear, Celine? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Jordy? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forget forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skills you have displayed. So I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. Wow, really? The fuck, Commander, son? You're to be expelled from the village? What? Why? Orders are orders. Let's go. Wow, the music is very dramatic. I've also helped so many people in the village. Can it really be true? And now everyone is doubting me, that's so fucking awful. I'll never believe it, Jordy. How could anyone do such a thing? I guess we should have be, should have been expecting this from a stranger that fell out of the sky. Everyone is hating on me, what the frick? We are the baddies now, yeah. We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort him from the village and to the field lands camp. I will also see him off. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all as bound for the field lands camp. Safe travels. None guilty until proven otherwise, you are baddies from the beginning. Truth. They did a twist set, enslaving wild animals to make them fight each other. <laughs> but that was their plan all along. Can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his orders when you followed the frenzied nobles. Right, right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn red. 
is utterly intolerant, and I might add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such ideological thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause you already more pain if you are to driven out as well for defending him. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aide to both Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adamon and Irida might take you in. Though I'm afraid they both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could try to go find Leon first. He's likely at the Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I'm sure you all have uh, you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. I might offer if I might offer my advice, in this life you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What if the dream I first shared with you on Prilly Beach to complete the Pokedex? That dream simply won't come true without you. Seek out Leon. So I can still do everything and shopping and such. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Ooh, Cricket. Dolt. Mass outbreak. At least see if I can... Not that much. Wow, an all fast bond, just like that. I did end up catching the Crick Tot Alpha, funky. Is it already done? I was about to say. One. I find that the outbreaks sometimes kind of work weird. Or should I say, don't work at all? See, this is weird. It should still be going on, but nothing is appearing.
to make a new Keyblade. I honestly need to get my ass after everyone, after someone to fix the entire uh, minigame so that we can do more things than just sit and wait. Need someone to uh, code the game a little bit. Star Raptor flying here. Sep Spanker, full glass cannon, Fensman 20. You, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Hisui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. Should have known that the only thing that could come from that rift was a disaster. Never mind then. Is that really all you came to say? Look, you needn't try to put on a brave face. You've been a help to the Pearl Clan and we know what kind of person you are. Oh, it must be said, for every sympathetic ear you might find there, you may also find a, a detractor who fears your presence. I truly do wish that I could repay you for calling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find Mai at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of history there's a place for you as well. And the Dream Eater SQ Terror. Oh, this is fucking depressing, mate. Get summoned here by Arceus. Some bad shit happens. And just gets fucked for it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh, space time rift. We need to go check that out in a bit. Sixty-two Alpha Blissey. Use Calm Mind. Oh my God, this is a very bad idea. <laughs> Double Edge. Oh, I live. If he goes into double edge, Seppai would probably work. Seppuppy. Don't know what else. Icy Wind. I have high spe uh, sort of high special defense. Leech Life.
agile style icy wind. Yeah, we can take advantage of this, pretty sure. Leech life to heal back up. Massive amounts of damage. It's fucking 9k experience points, super sick. fuck is this place anyways? Sushi has already found this area apparently before. is a dead end. Uh, how is my bag right now? Got some space. Geo good. Another one? Mm, notice that one. My my, what frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? Trying to find out. Suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leaders what happened. You can't return to the village of yours, can you? I'm afraid the Diamond Clan can't be the ones to save you. Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great Weirdier took a liking to you. I want to offer my you my support, but forgive me. I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. We're only fucking 15. This is, fuck this is fucking cringe. Three. Lucio? Lucio Shinx? What's up, buddy?
Follow! Strange events seem to follow you whenever you go, don't they? Found you at last, Jordi. Been looking all over for you, you know? What could I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? D did your Pokemon just leave you? No, not my Pokemon. Don't worry, I've already heard what happens. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying being abreast of all the latest news. It seems you are quite in the pinch. No place for you among Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry, there are still corners of Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. Yeah? Perfect hideaway. Curious. Here we are. I know, I know. It's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Holy shit, we got our own little place. Who the fuck is this lady? Shirking your work to come pester me again, even beneath the bleeding sky you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kogita. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hisui's myths and legends. No, Mistress, thank you, just Kogita. And this is? Why, Yordi is the man of the hour. He's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, uh, the poor wretch you spoke of lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. It seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Duty? Got abducted. But... Speedos, don't worry, Mr. 15-year-old. Indeed, I am I am to guide you, lost one, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There is much to be told. Oh, she has a nice fucking bed. Are we gonna share it? The space-time rift is said to be the portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and further still from ours, dwells Almighty Sinnoh. Pearl's plans? No. Expense from antiquity to eternity and the expense to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread and from the here and now into the future, while space yawns all encompassably surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that the either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? They are inseparable. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, here is what you must do. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Ocidity. At each dwells the Pokémon set to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardships it could cause them. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Horse. Yordi's typo rampage. Yeah. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Your arc phone is beeping. You can see the locations of the three lakes marked on your phone. Mr. Skogika has got a lovely workbench here. And if you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? 
Ah, that is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that indeed? Abba? What was that cry? Have we now lost Pokemon as well as lost child? How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, Yordi. Kinda wish I... Ah, hello, hello! It's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fella? And it's got a letter. A letter addressed to Yordi. Take a close look at the letter. To Yordi. You may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an Epdep Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Celine. Good tidings from the letter, then. That's right. Now then, so we're... So we're going to visit Three Lakes. Does sound like an easy task, that's for sure. Sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guilt merchant. What do you mean, typos? There are no typos. This is what the weapons are called. Oh no, they show up. They managed to reassure my people for now. The Wardens are keeping close eye on their nobles too. Seems all quiet for the moment. And so here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relation would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help but without drawing attention, so it'll be just one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. Uh, choose between the Diamond and the Pearl Clan. Listen, I'm a Pearl person and Irida is bae. I got you what you needed when you first set out to quell Cleaver. I would expect of you, Yordi. Make the right choice, you won't regret it. So then, leftover leader will? Left over, think again. You already trust me enough to leave a tough job up to me alone. I'll be keeping an eye on the commander so I can let you all know if anything happens. Of course, of course. And the luck chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hisio region's three lakes we're going to visit. Yeah, we should get moving. I'd rather we walk this road together, but if we if the commander were to get wind of it, it would only make things worse. I'll meet you at whichever lake we choose. Oh, yeah, most likely. And not according to uh, the Google thing that I used. It's with double L, maybe. I don't fucking know. Listen, like I said, I need to fix this entire thing at some point, and uh, I've just been too lazy. You two do what needs doing. Try. This is kind of a cute place, though. Antique tea set. Okay, Abra can transfer Pokemon between areas.
Okay, I think we're fine though. Let's go. Zoom in. Lake Verti. Oh, this is uh, the house. Is the thing still here? No. But let's go to uh, Lake Verti first. Outbreak is still going on here, which is kind of weird. Pokemons are gone. Is that? Well, even the water splashes has changed. I didn't expect Luxorays to be uh, running over these hills. Toka kiss in the air here. Cool. Dam. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano, and it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water, and so Lake Verity was born. Truth. It's protected by a Pokémon called Mesperant. It was when Mesperant took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living, or that's how the old tales go anyway. Your arc phone is beeping. The, the, the cave, it just appeared from nowhere. 
Is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? What is price? What price wait within? Why well, wonder, mistress? Kogita seems quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokémon that guard the these lakes. This challenge has was never for the faint of heart. So that's what these lakes were for. The air feels somehow tense in here. Menacing Pokemon stands before you. You and your Pokemon quell the CEO nobles. You can handle any battle, Yordi. Dragon. Steel type. So my best bet would be fighting type. Ooh, what level is this bastard? Fifty-eight. Alpha Gudra uses shelter. Became obscured. That is fucking crap. Start with a triple arrow on agile style. Lower its defenses. Crit rate up. Go for normal. Boom. Defense stats were lowered. The city UI is getting pumped. Use shelter again. Became obscured. Okay, there's not really a point. You just go in. Target is obscured. Agile style. Iron tail. Jesus Christ, the damage is insane. He's just not allowed to move twice, motherfucker. Ah, my repairer is still a little bit low level. I should have probably swapped it out for something else. See if I can high horsepower. Nice. Kind of sucks that uh, my Birdo died. It's curious, but when I watch you and your Pokemon battle, it feels as if there's no obstacle that can be overcome if the people and Pokemon work together. See about the Pokemon of the lake. You feel mysterious presence. Do I actually have to catch you? Or are you just gonna... Your emotions, share them with me. They're yours. I can only imagine how it must feel to speak directly with a Pokemon like that. When you fell to this land, what stirred, your, stirred in your heart? Bewilderment. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui clans? We're all so different. What did you feel when cast out of the Galaxy team? Life is complicated. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. You've obtained Mesperit's plume. Proof that you've completed the trial set by Mesperit, the being of emotion that lives in the Lake of Verity. This item just needs to forge the red chain. Kayun. I wonder if I can eventually capture Mesperit. Now that Pokemon spoke with you. 
Yet the words did not reach my ears. It's so mysterious. But I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural to encounter mystery. Next on to Lake Valor and Lake Accusity. wonder if you answer directly if you would have gotten something different. Uh, probably not. I'd have to guess. I mean, you can test it out for yourself, uh, Zillar, when you get here. Because I, I answered with my own, like, what I thought when I was playing the game, right? It's like that worked out well. Must say, you know an awful lot about Hisui Volo. I suppose merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travels. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. More accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. Same goes for me. Our clan settled at the very spot where our forebears once beheld Almighty Sinnoh. But I... I still never seen Almighty Sinnoh for myself. Way tea matters to ponder, for sure. But we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kogitas? Yeah, let's just go. We're just gonna... blast through this. For the time being. Once uh, the world becomes open to us again, I'll change that. I'll go do something else. Ah, Mesperit's plume. But the legends told us true. Then the red chain must be real as well. I beg your pardon, Kogita, ma'am. But what do these Pokemon that represent the mines have to do with this red chain? And why exactly would it bind the world? Your doubt suggests a keen intelligence. I see you are not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mines, where the rifts to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I... what? So does the mind create the world? But isn't it the other way around? Or is it? Such are myths, my child. Teaching us about the world is their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the, natural, on the nature of the Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we will get the Red Chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of success to which you contribute nothing. You tag along, only for the chance to gawk at more ancient runes. <laughs> Fellow knows it and he doesn't give a fuck. Let me have a look. Should I bring someone else instead of Riperior? Gastrodon is not too bad. It's on the, around the same level as everyone else. A water ground type. What I probably should change is Gudra's Hydro Pump, because I don't want to deal with missing. Should you do if you are... addicted to seaweed? Addicted to seaweed. Sea kelp. 
<laughs> oh god damn it that one oh my lord that took like five years oh that one was bad jesus christ Seek help. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, that one sucked, man. That one was so bad. It took me like five seconds to figure out what the fuck was going on, and then, uh Yeah, GG, my dudes. G fucking G. Seek help. <laughs> Seek help. Uh, I think I'll just keep Riparia with me. It's fine. Yeah, that's because one, I'm dyslectic. Right? And two, I am... <laughs> Autistic. So jokes usually like fly right over my head. It takes like five years for me to figure out what someone means. <sighs> and here the fuck she is. You did me dirty there. You did me dirty there, Kel. Ke Kel? Kel? You're not Kill for once. And there's also no L. It's, there is an L, but not in like EL. Oh god, I'm so. Seriously, at some point you guys can just throw me in the, the trash. One, once we're done streaming, it's just Jordy goes in the trash can. Or SQ. <laughs> So annoying. Here we are, Lake uh, uh, Sweetie. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. Could be a fluke or all of geography, or perhaps it's connected to Pokemon somehow. The, it, like everyone that comes into my channel and becomes a. Uh... <laughs> A regular will have to deal with the fact that I'm gonna get your name wrong, even though I do not do that on purpose. <laughs> like a CT is protected by the Pokemon Yuxi. When Yuxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the story say anyway. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite handy to want to have. Wonder what waits inside. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there protecting the Lake Guardian. Take care. I sense a chill in the air. What is this? Ooh! Could that be the dreaded Baneful Fox? I'm gonna see if I can catch this one. I should probably start with Luxray. Seeing my typing. Go, Luxray! Zora Arc, female Alpha. Use Shadow Claw. Start with Agile Style Thunder Wave. I 
killed it. So much for trying to capture it. Painful Fox. It is a Pokemon said to be filled with malice. We were told stories about it as children. You feel mysterious presence. You see. Come, I will test your knowledge. Combi, Subat, unknown. Megaton, Dusclops. How many are their eyes? Tell me each, one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Can you repeat that? Combi is six, Zubat is zero, Unknown is one, Magnetom is three, and Dusclops is one. Okay, wait. Combi was six. Zubat was zero. Uh, crap, I forgot. You weren't summoned, Sep. Um, Magneton was... F oh, Unknown is one. Magneton is three. And Dusclops is one. Hyun! Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Yuxi's Claw. Goodness, that was tricky, but only one more to go now. I'm kind of sad that I couldn't catch that one. I actually don't know if it is possible to catch that one. I still wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Perhaps they mean to test whether whoever seeks it is worthy. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands, after all. Though, on the other hand, what use would those wrong hands have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. Red chain is mysterious. As mysterious as this entire predicament we're in. But if we continue visiting lakes, it won't get closer to an answer. So, shall we return to Miss Cognita's house? Let's go back. Wonderful! Then we can see if Mr. Cognita has any insight to share. Yes, mistress, I'm a pervert! So that's Yuxi's Claw. I sense a warmth to it. I do have to wonder if anyone else has ever completed the trials of the Lake Pokémon. Indeed, yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems the Pokémon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that the commander has raised a force not to survey the Pokémon, but to subdue it, should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants. You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Not if. If a Pokémon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? Don't let Hisui's great fastness stop you, Yordi. Let's go get the final item we need. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold too. <laughs> watch. Is that all you really do? Remember, once you sought the third lake and found what ne what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded runes. Last stop.
Hulkbound camp. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You are the best can't deny. And when a girl walks in with the itty bitty waist. In your face you'll get sprung. Yuri's ways are mysterious and never logical. Truth. One cannot simply understand the magnificence of my brain power. Magnificence of my brain power. How the fuck did I fall over? Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though, there are also other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokémon battle. This lake is protected by Pokémon Azov. When Azov took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts, or that is what legend would have us believe. I do feel like the scenes... Like a little bit of anime, we need a bit more Wah! that kind of stuff, you know? A bit more Jojo. Carry if appeared where there was none, as if just for Jordi. Let us head in, Jordi. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. Okay, let's see what's inside. See if I can capture this one without killing it this time. An eerie space. Why would there be columns inside the cave anyway? Ooh, we want this one. It's Alpha. It's a uh, Alpha. I wonder if I can capture it though. We'll see in just a bit, most likely. What am I sending out first? Okay, Luxury goes out first. That's fine. Double edge. Yeah, this is gonna suck, can already tell. Overquill dodge the attack. Strong style. Okay, Luxury is down. <laughs> okay. Do we do against poison type again? Apparently high horsepower. We'll send Gudra in for the time being. Let me first test if I can, can even throw Pokeball at it. I can. So I can try and catch it. But seeing as it used high horsepower... It just went in. I now have an Alpha Overquill without any fucking fuzz. I seriously wish I had th just thrown a Pokeball at the other one, instead of attacked it. You could do it, Jordy. You feel mysterious presence? Yeah, yeah, Seb, you go ahead and laugh. Cune! Show me your unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Nice. Wait, bombs? Are you meant to try and hit this with Asolf? Try hit Asolf with them? Oh, 
You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? Not through yet. You seem you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? I am not through yet. How the fuck did that one miss? Give up your struggle in vain, will you yet press on? He wants to see the power of my will, right? Wait. No. Oh. Kyun! Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Some cheap kind of mule or what? You could technically say so, yeah. <laughs> These are kind of like uh, Entei or kind of like Moltres, Articuno, and Zepdos from Gen 1. That looked exhausting, but now we've journeyed through all three lakes. Only these have, like, more purpose in Diamond, Platinum, and Pearl. It seems we finished the three lakes. If I remember correctly, we should we were told to head for the Shroud of Ruins. Don't know what could wait, await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. The Shroud Runes. Mist is so very good at this obscuring things. It's long been set to blur boundaries. If we are to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That said, what are we meant to do now? Seems to have made it in time. You arrived just when we assembled all three gifts. Did you somehow see our progress across the distance dividing us? I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Could you mean the Pokemon that filled about the Hisu region? Ah, but never mind that now. What about the red chain? How do we forge it? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument once said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we to do? Search the entire vastness of history for the answer? Yeah, the Pokemon of the lakes. He received the red chain. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. You succeeded once again, Yordi. Yet things do not seem to be going well for the rest of the world. What have you heard now? 
I had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forgo waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. Has he lost his senses? He plans to get close to the rift to study it himself? Well, he doesn't yet know that our Yordi has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's true. There is no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and about everything Yordi has achieved before he sets out. Seriously? We're going to the village? Jordy? Jordy, Capel, BTS. Welcome back. It's been grim here. We and the Survey Corps hardly even speak to one another lately. But with you back, maybe Captain Silene's appetite for Pochimocho will return. Anyway, wait in here a minute, will you? I'll go and let the captain know you're back. I don't want to... That's not a good idea. You need to get to the commander ASAP. Oh, my dear Yordi. Professor has been awfully worried about you, Yordi. Of course I was worried, but I don't think I could hold a candle to the distress you showed, Akari. That's blowing it out of proportions. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. But, um, where's the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, Professor? She's buried into her nose in an amount of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems her hands are more full now that Com Commander Kamado is gone. He's not here. Well, he's sent out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokémon that's been spotted on the other side. That is why I was filling in for regular guards, with Pikachu at the ready. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the... Captain. Captain, my Captain! Managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks to you, Captain. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord. It inconvenience me greatly. But before more further, I must ask, assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use. Visit these lakes. Go on. Explain about the red chain you obtained. The legendary tool set to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The security corps has been scouting the area near the space rift time. They report sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembles a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain to so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat they were to make for the temple at the peak. However strong a commander himself may be, he should have gotten Yordi to help. As the captain of the Zervi Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Yordi, take the red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak and put an end to all of this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Are you certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should have not left me in charge here. Aerith, it's always sus. Aerith, sus? I don't know what you're talking about. Ontario? Roof! Something's the matter, Lucario? Oh, nice! I'm Ray. Ray, whatever. And you are? You're Yordi, nice to meet you. Roof. This is Lucario. Ooh. Seems Lucario sends strong aura too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? Steely Lucario.
Where's the training drones? But where is the motherfucker? Oh, there they are. Proof! I take it you're ready for our battle? I'm ready. Now then, let's forgo the small talk and proceed right to the battle. Go, Luxray! 62. Cario uses Crunch. Thunder Wave. Wow, Lucario dodged F. Not a crunch. Come on, hit him. Serious? I haven't even landed a single hit on him. Fick is this? You know what? Fighting grass type, Faye as fighting steel type. Agile style. Triple arrow. Much better. Oof. That was a wonderful battle. Seems we need to redo our training, Lucario. Guru. Thank you for the experience. I can tell you've met many Pokemon and that's helped you make stronger make you stronger. I think we'll test our skills another place from now on. Let's meet again. Steely Lucario. Grit Rock. Interesting to say the least. Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? No. Just here to heal my Pokemon. No, it's still fainted. F. I don't have Sailor's friend code yet. Did you find the commander? Commander's already at Mount Cornet. Already? How could a grown man like Commander Kamado be so reckless? First spelling Yordi, and now this. I think he needs a stern talking to. As the leader of Pearl Clan, loyal to the Almighty Sinnoh, who reigns over all space, I can go anywhere in the Vesuvio as I please, and now I am going to stop the Commander. Hmm, who's the reckless one? Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still try to find a way to help us all. That's right, you already worked hard to get the red chain to help us. Two rights, and a fine job he did too. Survey Corpse is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relation with Pokemon. Thanks, here, take this. Attain the max revive, how nice. Your orders are three. Make for the summit camp and there the temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. Three, return here alive. Captain, sir, yes, sir.
I heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into Galaxy Team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some explosions to celebrate. Three. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adaman and Irida have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Jordi, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. Seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for his undertaking. As for me, I think I will set up shop close to the temple itself. Things certainly seem to have gone out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here for moral support at least. Hm. <laughs> Bitch. Okay, all my Pokemon are alive. Let's book it. Yeah, let's book it. Pass by these motherfuckers. This motherfucker, that motherfucker. I wonder if we're heading to the end of the game. Or at least the main story. The fuck is this old man? Is that Benny? Ho-ho, oh, still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to shudder... But having to shudder the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But the Taskmaster Kamado's um, gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. The time we got rid of you once and for all. I don't understand. I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm in charge with executing all the gritty deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. Gave him my words, I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. And besides, I'm not just Kamado. It's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. What the fuck? Benny is a ninja? And I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another. Oh, did I ever... Did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound? At last, at last. One final pawn worthy of my great ninja techniques. I have been left to molder all these long years. Team Galaxy Benny challenge you to battle. Miss Magius. Oh, I accidentally set Great Barrier up front. That is not too great, I think. Shadow Ball, is that gonna cuck her barrier instant? No. Uh, Pokemon swap. Shadow Ball. Crunch. Agile style. Crunch! Good, that's enough to kill. Sneasler! Close combat, that's a dead Luxray, sad. Well, we're got, we got a wire gear here for you. With the nice... 
Psy Shield Bash. Four times super effective. You defeated Sneasler. Guard of War. Use Calm Mines. That is fucking rude. See if a strong style Shadow Ball is enough to kill Guard of War. Nope. Sad. Agile style. Dazzling Gleam. Doesn't do much against Weird Ear, thankfully. Shadow Ball! Good riddance. Gallade. Sword Stance. Hmm. It doesn't really matter what I do, I'm gonna go out here, most likely, so... Shadow Ball... Nice, weak enough. Battle decided. It seems my ninja techniques will soon be considered uh, consigned to history. Yeah, bitch. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you. After a fashion. At least for the skill you showed in battle. But listen well, Jordy. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Husui to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If hypothetically, as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself by force if you must. And do that. I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. Oh, he actually freaking saved my... healed my Pokemon. What a mad lad. What a mad lad. Well, you sit, have you brought everything you need? Well, sort of. You'd better take the red chain up to the top of the mountain. The Pokemon threatening to descend on the peak any moment now. I think it may be Almighty Sinnoh. But all this has to be stopped, and you're the one, only one who can do that. Do it. My Sinnoh sort of seems to be nearly here, but still the commander obstructs us. The commander doesn't stand a chance against my mighty sword. Oh, you see you actually wearing an armor? Nice. You again. I've heard the red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. Welcome, idea. But can I truly put my faith in such tales? Trust me. Commander, please be reasonable. I understand you're bound to protect your people as commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I have the same duty towards my clan, but doubting you already like this, you're not just wrong, you're a fool. 
Perhaps you are right, but if I were to simply place my faith in this boy and that fate were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? You may think you're the only one desperate to protect the people of Jubilife, but you're not. Gordy is putting his life on the line as well. And she just loves silent protagonists like that. Fine, enough. Let's fate let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Jordy. Today we battle in earnest. Kamado challenge you to battle. Breviaria. Level 61. Let's start with Agile. Thunderfang. Kamado uses a max potion. Cheater! This guy is a fucking cheater with his max potion. Oh my god, it avoided. That is very bad. Esper Wing. Critical hit. You know what? Fine. Anything you can do, I can do too. Cheater. Agile style. Esper wing. Doesn't do as much damage, especially if he doesn't crit. Going for strong style. That's what I like to see. Luxray is gonna go out here though, which is kind of a shame. Snorlax. Hmm. High horsepower. Yeah, that is a KO. The Deuce! Triple arrow. Stats were lowered. Getting pumped. And it's defense is lowered. I don't have to go into strong style. Clefable. Wait, is Clefable fairy or... Well, doesn't really matter, apparently. He's just gonna go into double psychic and fucking wipe the floor with my ass. <sighs> okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. Iron Heads, Dragon. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna go in with Iron Heads on Gudra. Golem. Agile style. Double edge. That's not gonna do much. I'm just gonna iron head him once. Boom. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Please heal my Pokemans. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Your fate has decided I con concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander Kamado. 
I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. Celestica people. This is the first time we're here at that. Don't worry, Commander, we've got the red chain. At least make sure... Okay, my Pokemon are healed. Good. Looks like you didn't get any experience points. It's kind of a shame that you don't get experience points per battle. Okay, let me save here, actually. Important moment, after all. We should still be missing, like, a few plates, right? Mind... We only got ten. And I think we missed Steel... And fairy, maybe dark. Come, come on, now's the time. Use the red chain. Wait, what? what is this? There's a voice in my head. No, in my heart? It's speaking to me. You, hold the red chain. Try to catch me then. Oh, Irida. You hear what you're saying, catch you? Mighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh may be speaking to me. It's telling me, you hold the red chain, try to catch me then, for the fight to come. Take these. Ultra Balls. <clears throat> so what? Are we gonna fight Palkia? Is Palkia gonna emerge? I mean, we did choose uh, space, right? The other one would have been Dialga, most likely. Yeah, Palkia is gonna emerge. Go ahead, Ginger Kid, catch a god. Don't give in, Jordy! Don't give it me! Okay. Palkia. Palkia is psychic water type, if I remember correctly. Strong style. Earth power. Oh my god, he's just gonna insta-kill my fucking Luxray like that. <laughs> fucking dipshit. He's just gonna fucking insta-kill my Luxray like that. False swipe. He's got to get three turns in a row. Spatial rent. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Sidui is just gonna fucking die here. Dragon Pulse is super effective because it's dragon. I don't want to kill it though, I want to catch it. Let's go with Sepapi. Just throw a Pokeball at it. Yeah, I mean, I have been doing that all the time, right? And just catching him. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, game? <laughs> uh, just catch it. He caught it, right? He caught Almighty Sinnoh. Red Chain's been shattered, but we've still got the Pokemon of the lakes to thank for getting this far. Well done, Jordy, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way to simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh, no. 
It is called Palkia. Mighty Palkia is speaking to me in my mind. Space time grows chaotic. The power fails. The frenzied one. It comes now to fight. That is why I am here. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bitch. B bitch? No way even Yordi could tackle another Pokemon as strong as the last one now. Okay, who's the one that's gonna pop out now? Oh, now it's the Olga. We just gotta catch another one. Are we now just gonna run for the Olga? From the Olga? We got fucking st All of you, we must forget this. Ah, forget the fancy dog. Book it, come on. We gotta make it back to the summit camp. Well, we still can. We need to leave before this, this other almighty Sinnoh decides to fight us. But commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce. You won't be any use to anyone if you die here on this mountain. What you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. We gotta get gone. <laughs> Did you hear his voice? Like... Such dreadful power. Certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. Mamesha even managed to stay on your, toe, on your feet before, Jordi. Did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a buildup of the same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. So our two clans truly were following different almighty Sinnoh, but both were real? What a shocking turn of events. Say nothing of the shock of hearing the commander speak so differently. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> to the both of you as fellow leaders. You saw the truth I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Jordi. And to you, Jordi. I acted on ill-consideration presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition team. Forcing you to face great hardships alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander Maidok suggests we return to the matter at hand. We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. The stuff... That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude, indeed. Let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure. I seem... It seems that having Yordi about has been a good influence on all. That's only natural. Yordi is strong enough to defeat even this new opponent single-handedly. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Did you forget that the red chain broke? We'll be alright. Armed with the knowledge, mighty Palkia imparted to me. Palkia, the Pokemon that talked to you? Yes, it told me its name, but that's not all. It also told me this. The stones, stone of creation's beginning, the chain of rent, the vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now. Disturbs the flow of time. Disturbing the flow of time. And then Mighty Palkia must go with us back to the temple, it said. Well, that chain of red is in pieces now, but uh, if little bits will do, I gather those. And the vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say they might refer to Pokeball. That's gotta be it, but what about Stone of Creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and mineral minerals, he even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warren and Leon will be a fine resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Leventon? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Yuri, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirdier and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them.
I think we, we gotta finish the game tonight, right? We just gotta... Just remember, here on the back of the Earth plate, it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. What do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, suppose that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe young Liam might know just where to find such a thing. As he said, he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow's come around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before too. Seems like a lead worth following. It's decided then, thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation beginning. Though the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I propose we call it Origin or Counterpart. Irida, may we ask your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Lee into the summit camp at once. I need pee. I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsocialized visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adaman, I see all those other louts have their little tasks to getting on with, but what of the great Melly? Where's my role in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adaman, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine, your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clan from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adaman. Oh, 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 you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to and work they are not. And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're all so little compared to me. Well, you are tall, that I gotta agree on. But you also suck. I've brought Lee in. Jeez, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Isui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take up with Cleaver in battle. With that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me, that bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adaman, Everyone back home is all worked up because the Pearl Clan got to speak to Almighty Sinnoh or Palkiao or whatever. Do you want them to hog all the glory? Warren Liam, if you would. Certainly. Then let us set out at once. We make for the Prime Vol Grotto. Wait, where the fuck's that? Oh, that's here. Let me accept this new request here as well while I'm at it. Bitch lasagna, bitch lasagna, look at me go, got bitch lasagna, something like that. Oh, thank goodness you passed by, please. I need you to rescue my sphiel. Its adorable round body caused it to rolling down the hill and it's headed straight for Stone Tooth Rose and Boulder Roll Ravine. Those areas are full with dangerous Pokemon. You're the new Survey Corps member everyone's talking about, right? Please help me find my dear sphiel. Seems easy enough. Ah, here it is. Sphi? Oh, it's running away. Great.
I don't think this field gives a flying fuck. Sphi? Sphi is an adorable little bastard, though. Gotta agree to that. Golem, 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 golem. Sphin! It just wants to play tag with us. Look at it go. Oh, oh, co, co, co. Where the fuck are you going, you little turds? Oh my goodness, Feel! I can't believe you rolled all the way down here. Oh, there he is. You escorted Sweel all this all this way, right? Thank you so much. Please meet me back at Summon Camp. I'll thank you there properly. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I need to go somewhere else though. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skilled mining, and the strength of my Silgu's moves, I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Oh no, not the bitch trio. Oh, come on, who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover? We haven't seen you in since you walked out on the clan. Where have you been all this time? Huh, <laughs> don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. Don't know why you're looking surprised, it's not as if you were hard to follow. What you seek may be as precious as treasure, but it isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore this awful sky to normal. Ugh, that earnest goody two-shoe act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough, I don't care why you, why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Jordy. You can take Charm. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest and I'll be your unlucky Charm, especially in this, the battle of, of a lifetime. She looks so uninterested, though, like... Challenge you to a battle, right on. Go, Luxray! Level 61. Let's just go for a regular Ice Fang. Okay, overestimate... Did my luxury strength here for a bit. That's fine. We'll just go and try strong style. Gengar gang. Gengar. 
Gengar, Gengar. This bitch just literally, really... Just wait until next time we meet when I put my Gengar on the field. Oh, you ain't gonna be happy when that happens. Because that Gengar is gonna be big AF, boy. Weird deer, use Psy Shield Bash. Kill this weakling. Too much strength. Well, you are rather formidable. Come on, Clover, why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Time's changing, we're changing, and we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all the stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you'd better do something about that sky. You're as strong as ever, Jordy. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature on top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Honestly, those three, what did they even come here for? Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokémon. Thanks. The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need, even if she groused as she did, so... Spec they may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. Then they should have just said so. What a pain they are hiding behind all that altitude... Attitude? Altitudes, there was no L in there. I was able to extract some of that origin ore, or whatever it is you wish to call it, I suppose. Uh, I suppose it had better go with you, Yordi. What is this origin ore for? An ore of mysterious powers, spoken of in ancient myths and said to contain the power of the almighty Sinnoh itself. We make the Master Ball with that. It's surprisingly easy. No, you simply fail to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleaver recognized you as Worthy Warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Eleven Tones got sound judgment plus knowledge to spare despite his silly streak. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist. Thanks to you, I was able to find Sveal and without a scratch too. Here, this is for everything you've done. What do we get? Rare candy. Okay. You're going to be more careful from now on, won't you, Sveal? Wait, where does Sveal go? Sveal! Sveal! Ah, Sveal! It just likes rolling down. Don't worry about him, though. He'd be fine. I really gotta see if I have any form of fire attacks on my team. Nah, we're fine. So this is Stone of Creation's beginning, the origin ore. Mm, yes, one can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything, by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilee Village. Wait, why the Jubilee Village? 
What are we doing in Jubilee Village? All right, Mr. Professor. It's all in pieces now, but this is what's left of the red pane. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for purpose. Well, jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all the broken pieces back at the temple. Your turn, Jordy. Next comes the Stone of Creation's beginning. End over to Origin War. Fragments of Red Chain collected at great personal risk of the Diamond Clan, then the Stone of Creation beginning, which we only learned of thanks to the Pearl Clan. And now it's time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Akari, my girl, you are one of our team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? This is my true battlefield, Jordi, even if it may be safe indoors. It may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you had best wait outside while we work. Come on, Mr. Professor. Wish they'd hurry it up in there. I'm starting to suspect all the prattling about the value of time is a cover of your own impatience. If sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever, because that'd be using time well. Like this. We've done it, Jordy. It's complete. I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at Temple of Sinnoh. The Origin Ball. It does look dope. It looks like the Cherish Ball. It doesn't look like a Master Ball. Okay, okay. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all Hisoi could rest in something so tiny. If interesting, it's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. Wait, please, I hear something. The voice is speaking to my mind again. You mean Palkia? Yes, it appears that the mighty Palkia is willing to lend its own strength to us in this battle. That's what I like to hear. The Pearl Clan's mighty Sinnoh. Well, I guess you could just call it Palkia as one fierce Pokemon. Thanks, ready now, you already Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Palkia. Okay, but Palkia is in my, uh... Bank. <laughs> Let's go grab Palkia. We'll swap Rhyperion out. I think at least he is in here, right? Here, Palkia. I got way too many Pokemons. I can't even keep track of all of them. At least it's offensive if capabilities are out of this fucking world. Oh. Change moves. Special rent, hydro pump, aqua tail. Let's see what Palkia looks like when I throw him out. Wow, that is kind of nice, though. That is kind of dope. With Seppi next to him. <laughs> He's so small compared to everyone else. And here you are, lost one, ready to face your fate atop Mount Coronet. 
It seems the vicious battle might await you. I'll go where I must. Oh, well said. Now, hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you will encounter at the Temple of, of Sinnoh is the Olga, ruler of all time. If it is allowed to run wild, time itself will twist and bend here in Hisui, and eventually the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of the counter of its counterpart, Palkia, the ruler of space, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should be. Now take Palkia at your side and make forth the Temple of Sinnoh once more. If I had if I had taken the Diamond Clan leader, it would have been Yolga. It would have been Polkia. No, it would have been Yolga that is like fighting alongside us, and Polkia the other way around, most likely. I must say, this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll look. I'll have a look around before I go, see what your clothier has to offer. Excuse me, is this time for shopping? Well, I well, I'll hardly have time for shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? Fair point. All right, Jordi. Once you feel ready to set out, we make for Temple of Sinnoh once more. Let's just go. We've been saying that get ready, get ready, shit for five hundred years now, and I'm already been ready for five thousand years. Okay, maybe it's a little bit exaggerated, but who the fuck cares? Right, we just go. Go, go, go! What is up here? Hmm, just a stone. Let's go, weird deer. Up the mountain. Past the crazy... So past the crazy Pokemon. Fulo, what are you doing here, you dirty scumbag? Just the boy I've been waiting for. I know you can buy various sun years at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here close to the temple. I want to have a front row seat if there's a chance to see into the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And, aside, and besides, I know too well the strength of you and your Pokémon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. Follow, you suck, you know that, right? Follow is a poopy brain. Captain, what the fuck are you doing up here? Are you crazy? For so long I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilee Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokémon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you've shown me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I need to get ready. I need to save, actually. You have Palkia. That's such a powerful Pokémon as chosen to ally itself with you must mean something. Just, just, just to be safe. I gotta save here. Okay, now we can go. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna say the same bloody fucking thing again. Jordi, in all of vast space, your place has found you. What in the world does that mean? It's Pro Clan Sin. It reminds us that occasions we must rise to are also stages where we may prove ourselves, where we might shine our brightest. 
So basically you're saying not to feel nervous. Starting to see the appeal of how you pearl people think. In some situations anyway. We will support you in whatever way we can. Though I doubt you'll need it. You already protect Hisui and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. <laughs> wow, a little bit extreme, Dioga. Jeez, ever heard of a chill pill, mate? Wait, what the fuck is this for form? What the fuck kind of form is this? This is not the Dialga that we know. What the fuck? Is this some sort of primal Dialga? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh yeah, sure. Oh yeah, sure, we're starting with the... F okay, okay, that's not what I like... Didn't expect we needed to do this shit again. What the fuck? What is this for? Oh crap. Ah, god damn it, Jordy. I really want to see what the Dioga form looks like. Oh shit. Now, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Nailed it. Bulkia, go punish this bitch. Punish this bitch. <laughs> Earth power, super effective. Let's go. Roar of time, oh lord. Pokia dead, yeah, great. Saw that coming. <laughs> ha, good job, deuce. I'm gonna call my Decidui Deuce from now on. <laughs> 
Wait, that was way too fast. Or did I did it? Did I deuce? Or did I die? I think I deuced. I did that. <laughs> what the fuck is this for powerful ball, mate? The Origins Ball. He, he called it. He really did it, didn't he? My eyes aren't lying, right? He actually went and called it. Yes, oh, good show. What a catch. You contained the fearsome thing in the origin ball. Absolutely astounding as ever, Yordi. Finally. Formidable as usual, Yordi. Hmm, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. <clears throat> Ouch, your gifts, Commander. Not sure I deserve a sumo throw. Mm, well, at least it seems this is no dream. Hmm. <clears throat> Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike any we have known, but we were able to overcome by working. By working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for all of us. Gather your clans. This will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen. Celebrate with the Diamond Clan? The two clans together, huh? Well, since it turns out we both were following a true almighty Sinnoh of our own. Sap sleep well, my dude. Guess the times when we'd fight over whose was wrongs or rights are ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree. This may well be the best path towards protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in Husoi region! Credits! We've beaten the official story. Officially beaten the story. Oh, I need to pee so bad. Okay, let me actually go and look up the... Uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus Palkia Pulse Oh, I guess I just got myself spoiled right now that there is an official... Uh, final, final balls after this still. So I got uh, True Ending and Secret Balls. We've got a lot of work planned out for us. But thankfully we also have a shit ton of time. Origin Form, is it, it's called. <clears throat> Obviously, we're gonna watch the credits real quick. Roll real quick. Let that pass. I need to go to the toilet like a motherfucker. Uh, I'll be right back.
Hoo-hoo, it looks like I'm coming back at the right time. Thank you for adventuring with us. Ah. <sighs> Nice. This is absolutely great. I love this. Your arc phone is beeping. Seek out all Pokemon. Prepare well. Make for the Temple of Time. Once more. Wait, what? Oh, I was about to say, a new dawn lays. I was kind of shitting myself there, mate. Stash. Good morning, Yordi! It looks like the space-time rift has vanished. The sky has gone back to normal again, which I suppose means we'd better get back to our original mission, completing the Pokedex. We're going to meet uh, in the Survey Corps office to discuss our next steps. See you there soon! Let me go have a look at my Pokemon. And the Origin Ball, super sick. <laughs> uh, also, you need to be moved here and same with the Dialga I have so much shit it's unbelievable I don't know where to begin with this I personally I just feel like emptying this entire all the other pastures that I have, just want to empty them. Oh, no, we're not done yet. I want to see what Palkia looks like. Uh, Dialga. So we're gonna swap out Gudra for the time being. And I want to see what the Pokeball looks like. Well, the Pokeball just the same. Okay, Dialga also just looks... Normal. Look at these two motherfuckers next to each other, like, ha, look how smug I am. <laughs> I'm smuggest. Um, can I sort these? Sort of. Okay, we're gonna call you the Deuce. Because I officially decided on your name. The Deuce. It's probably not how you write it, but this is how I'm gonna write it. Oh, look how nice this place become. Chimmy, chimmy, chow chow. They've really done their work, mate. That is not done yet. Let me see if this guy sells any new shite. No, good, glad. A 
token of gratitude. Medi of the Diamond Clan says she was saved by mysterious Pokemon many years ago to our story and determine whether there's anything to do with these follow-ups. This probably has to do with the Sword and Shield save file I have on my thing for legendary Pokemon. Uh, I am going to be playing Pokemon Shining Diamond, Brilliant Diamond, I don't fucking know, soon. Wednesday, most likely, so we're probably going to be able to catch up on that Pokemon as well, which is only two days from now. But let's uh, see what the post-game story is going to contain. So I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. Sure did. Indeed. That only seems natural, given the crowd. I believe last night was the first time I've caught a glimpse of you making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Laventon, to business, what is the current state of progress on the Pokedex? I dare say we made quite significant progress in all in all. Though we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. And of course, it's hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokémon have only been mentioned in Hisui Legends, after all. We know if they are... we know... who knows if they are even real. With how little we know about Hisui's history and legends, it seems a tall order for us to tackle. Pardon, couldn't help but over here. If Hisuian history and legends you want, then I'm your man. Of course, Volo comes up. Well, I've spent plenty of time studying such things instead of a uh hum. -huh. I mean, I will also tirelessly doing my work of the Ginkgo Guild. And I've visited many of the runes and whatnot here in the Hiso region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing or two about any Pokemon of legend in these parts. Ho oh, ho! Music to my ears, my good fellow! Listen well, Yordi. You are to learn all you can from the Merchant Volo and work together as needed for the sake of the Pokedex. We meanwhile will continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by other means. Understood. I'll set up at Hyde Camps, then Yordi, I'll be expecting you. At Hyde Camps, okay. Besides, I have something I'd like to discuss with you too, so I hope you won't keep me wait- I'm gonna keep you waiting as long as I like. <laughs> uh... Okay. Um Legendary Pokemon is the goal of post game, right? Of missions and such. Oh, you know what? It, it's fine for the time being. We're not going to do anything else. We're going to stand here for a little bit and talk. Okay, so we have a few things that we need to do. We have seen 184 of the around 250 Pokemon, I think, that the game has. Not 100% sure. Can't say it's true. This is what I know. Heard. Blah, blah. The goals for the coming time, because I don't have any other games to play, and... <sighs> Catch as many of the Pokémon out there. Would love if most of them are Alpha Pokémon, especially in their last stages. Alpha Pokémon, great. Thumbs up. Can use that. Second. Not you, because don't have the... The unknown is fifth, probably, on the list. Second, we are gonna work towards... ...getting reach surge level 10 on all these motherfuckers. Personal way, I think it's the easiest to do this shit. Is capture one and then do the well, not these. <laughs> first things first, let's take Pichu for example. Pichu has 
number caught, number small specimen caught, number you caught without being spotted, and number caught during daylight hours, times you've given it food, and numbers you've evolved. Right. Doesn't have anything that I can use, like, personally, if I'm using the Pokemon myself, other than evolving it. AKA, we need to go and figure out where to find Pichu and where to consecutively catch Pichu. Great. Sucks. Pikachu, on the other hand, has things like times you've seen it use Thundershock, times you've seen it use Thunderbolt. Number of different forms obtained is also another thing that we can't really do much with. We can evolve it, etc. It's one of the things that we can use to make this a bit easier for ourselves. Like, I can use Thunderbolt once twice, triple times, 500 times for all I care, and we can get the research level done. We need to find this motherfucker. <laughs> we, we can see it use rest to, like, get that research level up. But all of these Pokémon have, like, specific things to complete to, like, get their stuff done, right? Monferno, for example, is another one that we just need to see him do actions. And in my case, what my brain says, at least, this for me is the easiest, is to go grab its first form. Do not fucking know why the first form is not... <sighs> Numerical order. Way fucking better. Like, this for example. If we play Rowlith from the start, we clear most of its things, right? And just get the rank 10. That is how we are... Well, that is my plan on how we're gonna do most of the Pokémon. Like, Bidoof, Bi-Barrel, Starly, Star Raptor, for example. I'm not gonna go out and catch multiple Star Raptors. I'm just not in the mood of that. Maybe at some point, if I really wanna... 100% everything, maybe then I'll be like, yo, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna do all these things, but I'll only do that with specific Pokemon that I really like. For example, Shinx, Luxio, Luxray. That family is something that I personally would be like, okay, I'm gonna bring this entire family with me, or do all these things and do all the other things on the list purely so that I can, like, show this is done, for example. Rapidash is a Pokémon. We have one Shiny and one Alpha. We can easily use that to get, like, all these things done because they want to see you use Fire Blast 40 times. Strong Style Move 40 times. Now, we probably only have to do, like, until 8 and then it's done. We could also go and like grab the alpha poke, the alpha species that is roaming around in the thing three times, and we're done with this Rapidash. Uh, Eevee and Flareon, it's gonna be hard to capture, but we have one, right? We can use Baby Doll Eyes so many times, we can use Flamethrower so many times, Agile Style, all easy shit to complete. And since I've been saving up the Eevees that we've seen, right, I just need to transform them into the right forms and we can finish these off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Crobat, same thing. Drifloon we haven't actually caught yet, but Drifloon is done. We can find the Drifloon and we just, like, evolve it, for example. We can do it like that. Or we can search for a Drifloon and use that. I... See, because I haven't called it yet, it's the dex entry is not done yet either, but we do have defeated six times, defeated with dark type moves six, uh, three times, etc. Those are like all things that we can just do, and it's mostly what we're gonna do th during current session or current time. We're gonna just figure out how to clean up the small messes that we have everywhere. Evolve Kadabra and Abra into shit and get Alexam out, do his recovery, Psychic, Chimchar, do the things with Monferno, uh, Infernape, 
grab all those alpha Pokemon. <laughs> oh, fucking God. <laughs> yeah, so another good one is we're just going to go grab as many alpha species as we can while we're out in the wild and capturing random Pokemon and doing quests. Because uh, Cleavor and Scizor are not done yet, but we got Alpha's of those. We got a Heracross Alpha, which is fucking insane. Mr. Mime, we got a few of, which is also the reason why I'm not going to release Mr. Mime, uh, any of my Pokemon currently, because if I can use one of the Pokemon that we have to get, like... Oh, you can scare them off with Scatterbang? That is kind of sick. But the amount of times that you can, like, use a specific Pokemon to do a specific thing because you already own it, is way easier than, like, going through all the trouble of trying to catch a new one. So, uh, those are things that we're gonna do. Same with the Blizzly, everything else. We know where Alpha Rogue Zerate is. We know where a lot of Alpha Pokemon are. And Starter Pokemon and everything. Ursaluna, we need to evolve that. It's just pure evolution. Teddy Ursa is level 8, we can just evolve one, for example. Your boy is almost full alpha now. Really, Sush? I just beat the game, man. The ending is the ending is very good. I just got like I just beat it. We're now going into post-game shenanigans, sort of at least. Gumi, Sligoon, Grudra. All kind of things that I'm like just gonna have to purposely set up to evolve. Steelix has an Alpha somewhere that I can capture. We already have an Alpha of Rhyperior. Uh, defeating a few Rhydon is easy as well. I don't even have Braveria yet. Did you uh, manage to capture your uh, uh, Alpha Zorua, Sush? Because that's what you were working on the last time we spoke, right? <clears throat> uh, but yeah... I did not. I have a theory. Okay. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna hear something funny? This is kind of spoilery, but this will save you a lot of grinding for your alpha. It, unless you really don't want to hear it. I don't think you can't get random alphas until you beat the noble. There's uh, there's going to be a main quest in a bit, after you get your Bravaria and you did the Noble, right? There's a fight in the story and you can capture that Alpha, which is precisely uh, the evolution. I accidentally OTK'd it, but I got an Alpha Quell, the evolution of Coalfish, thanks to it. But uh, yeah, I killed it, which I'm uh, not very happy about. Damn, gonna save me so much time. Yeah, I figured as much. I don't know if I can go back into that room there and see if I can refight it right now because I just went into post game, right? And I've been like trying to explain what we're gonna be doing next. Uh, but yeah, so goals. Uh, finish the Pokedex, get at least at every Pokemon, get a research level of 10. Uh, by what I know, if we get to research level of 10 with every Pokemon in the game, we can get to the secret ending and secret boss. That is what I know. This is the goal before we are going to play our new game, our next game. Because it's only the 31st and I still have like... 18 days left until a new game is going to arrive on my doorstep. And uh, I love this game, so that's just what we're going to be doing. I'm not going to... I'm going to be doing things off stream as well, but I'm not going to do story related stuff off stream. So that's that. Uh, so yeah, there are about uh, 250 Pokemon in the game. I think, when it comes to legendaries as well and other Pokemon. 
Uh, what else? Important things, right? What else is important? Sushi. Uh, I'm gonna tell you to go away for a little bit because I'm gonna put up the video of the final battle. But then the counterpart of the battle that we just did. If you do not want any spoilers, obviously. Because I do want to show it off and I kind of want to see what it looks like. Because it's the final battle was really amazing. I don't want to spoil it for you or anyone that doesn't want it to... But I do want to like show the counterpart off real quick. So I'll... See you later. I'm most likely going to go offline after this anyways. Uh, first, let's go here. Oh yeah, the other thing that we're gonna do is obviously complete all the side quests. That is just a given, I guess, for me. Complete the game as much as possible. Okay, we saved. I can turn it off whenever the fuck I want now. Uh, go over here to make full screen. That is not full screen. PC. Oh, I hate how this works. Boom. Okay. Put a little bit lower because it's not as loud as mice game. Look at her red eyes. Look, there's Palkia. So, the theory of deciding... Uh, at the end, deciding who you use to bring along will decide who you're going to be fighting at the end and who you're going to be using at the start, which is super sick. <clears throat> but the reason why we're watching this is because I really want to see what Polkia's origin form looks like, right? Because instead of Polkia, the old guy is standing here right now. Look at the flames. Look at that beast there, boy. Okay, I gotta say, the Yolga uh, primal form looks better, but uh, origin form, but dude, Polkia's origin form is sick. Let's see if the fight is done any different. Because Space Palm, oh. Hey, from what I can see, the fight is definitely different. This is not different, though. This is an attack we've seen before. Yeah, so the fight is primarily the same. But let's be real, this is an insane, like, these forms are absolutely fan-fucking-tastic. I love them. They are great. They are absolutely great. Uh, that. Get rid of it. Yeah. So, guys. I'm going to be back tomorrow, most likely the normal time again, because I have things to do tomorrow. It's a weekday, and uh, I'm actually better for once in my life. Like, the past three months did not happen. I did not have pain, pain, pain in my balls. I did not get corona the past couple of weeks. I can now finally go outside and do things again. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh... That's it. We're gonna catch every Pokemon. We're gonna uh, get their rating up to 10. And then we're gonna... Do whatever. We're, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna get to that 100% in the game. And that does probably mean that I gotta go swap out some of my Pokemon because... Uh, let's be real. The Pokemons that I've been using currently are most likely just done. Done, done. Need to put them away. Where are... Where is... Gengar still needs to be done. We're still gonna go grab another Gengar. 
because I did get an Alpha Ghastly. I think that is dope. Criteria we're gonna use most likely. Seeing it use double edge. By that point, we will see how we're gonna get everything fixed. We're gonna do this one on number of defeats or maybe at cots. Defeated with water type moves. See it uh, use rock slide, double edge, etc. Uh, I kind of regret. We can just catch a Gumi and just level it up and then evolve it and then do everything that's being said on here. Like, we, we need to not think too much about it. I Where's Standler? Standler, Standler, where the fuck is Standler? Yeah, Weird Year is pretty much done. Um, Weird Year is done. Uh, Luxray is done. Staraptor isn't done yet. And Ducidi is done. So. Spatial Rend. Time of Roar of Time. Can only be caught once, right? Super funny. Okay, real quick before we finish anything off. Kind of going to do something that. Um, Probably not as great, but we'll be fine. So, the deuce... ...is gonna be swapped for... ...Star Raptor, purely so that we can finish you. Weird Ear is gonna be swapped for... ...so many Pokémon, like, I don't even know where the fuck to start. We'll do Riparior and Luxray for Gallade. Who the fuck cares at this point? <laughs> so these are the guys that we're gonna like finish first. Sepapi is not done yet, nowhere near, I'm pretty sure. Definitely things we just need to sit for and like there. They're just things, and those are definitely things same with, like, my brain, just not very good at. That we need to do in specific orders and with specific things. And we just need to do them and not think too much about it. Apparently, you can catch a Raichu in uh, the Obsidian Wild Fields. Thunder, Iron Tail needs to be used. Agile style moves. Ow. My lip. Star Raptor needs to use Air Slash, Brave Birds, and Strong Style moves. Should be easy. Crimson Lens. Azolf, Turtwig, Bonsley, Riparier, Double Edge and Rock Slide, Strong Style Move. Yeah, we just gotta take our time with this. I sh like my brain right now is exploding with a lot of information. And that is mostly because it's not very good at taking in information. Just say it like that. Shadow Ball, oh, you're almost done. Dusk Noir. Tillery needs to be done for a side quest. <laughs> Just catch another alpha specimen. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There are definitely things that I'm gonna need to look up, like all alphas, for example. Because I bet there'd be an alpha magmortar somewhere. There has to be, right? It is everything now stay numero numero numeronical with numbers. I hope so. 
Yeah, but we're gonna take our time. I think that the first step that we're gonna be taking soon is doing like land by land. Everything we have is fine. We're gonna start with that. No, maybe not that way. Maybe first all the Ulfas. Grab all the Ulfas so that we can. God, this is so hard. I'm planning ahead for tomorrow and later, and it just doesn't make sense to me. Why am I doing this? <laughs> it's 1 a.m. almost. It's still getting late, and I need to get out of bed tomorrow on time. I went out of bed on time today as well, sort of, but that great. Ladies and gents, gents and gents, ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all had a fantastic time. I'm going to talk to you all next time. And, uh... Sleep well tonight. Hope you all have fantastic dreams. Good night.